All the major forces are seeking a chance to meddle in the cold iron mine business. We usually listen to the strongest sect. Are we really listening to Ji Yuntao now? I feel unsecured thinking about turning against the marching sect. I'd love to watch them fighting, but what Ji Yuntao promised is too tempting. It is the Taishian sect's breakthrough elixir, it'll give you another 10% chance to exceed the pre-celestial stage. The success rate is still low with that, and because of the unstable foundation, you'll probably be stuck at level 1 of the pre-celestial stage all your lifetime. But every martial artist wants to reach that stage, right? The marching sect would never offer that. Besides, who'd eat their elixirs anyway? Since we're already on the same boat with the Taixlin sect, we're out of options, let's check Xia Yan's bottom line. The four local forces in Xufeng City have sent you an invitation to go to their banquet tonight. What do you think, sir? Mr. Xia is getting stranger and stranger. After visiting him the last time, I tried to recall what I had told him, but failed to recall anything. I wouldn't have noticed anything wrong if I hadn't been careful. Now that I look at him, his temples undulate like something else pushing them, and he sometimes soliloquires as if he's talking to the void. Am I pressing the right place, Master Sia? That's it, nice. Harder. What do you think about this invitation? There are only pretty words on the invitation. They didn't mention anything formal. Is Mr. Sia cultivating some kind of evil art that can communicate with ghosts? I wish he can succeed anyway. Otherwise, he will be no match for Ji Yuntao. Fine, there will always be signs when something big is coming. At least it can realize me to get prepared. Remember to get a carriage ready when the time comes. Yes, Mr. Xie, there's another thing. Such an evil art usually requires the cultivator to cast it on living people to make progress. I've learned your purpose, Mr. Xie. Please, please use my body to improve your skills. I'll do anything to humiliate Ji Yun Tao. Stay away from me from now on, Chan Wu. What's wrong with Ji Chan Wu? I didn't know he's gay. Great pleasure is taking place in the silent house at night. All worries are being taken away by the stunning flesh. Once I touch your smooth skin, oh, look how your slender waist hivers. What a dissolute poem. Even a ghost of beauty like me can't sing it out loud. But since Master Xia Yan likes it, I'll try to learn some. We were busy dealing with Ji Yun Tao and taking care of the consequence of Yan Jie's death. Sorry about the possible disrespect you might have felt, Mr. Xia. Please forgive us. Thanks, this wine is so refreshing, I like it. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. It's nothing. A handsome man like you deserves to be surrounded by beauties. I've trained my girls well. I hope you like their performance. A great man can have enough good women. How about I give them all to you? I didn't do anything to gain the girls. I'm afraid I can't take them. Seriously? I wouldn't let strange women get near me. I'm decent. Madam How, a hero like Mr. Xia wouldn't indulge himself in women but things may get a bit inconvenient for a hero without money. Bring it in. It's our little gift for you, Mr. Xie. You'll receive this amount every year. I don't remember doing anything that deserves such hospitality. You might as well tell me what you want. We just don't want to see such a talent like you going unknown. Please let me elaborate on it for you, my master. Hey, sit there. Don't come closer or change the way you call me. Say what you have to say. I was the top beauty in Sufing City once, but now I'm old. What kind of top beauty? You surely have a sense of humor, Mr. Xie. I'll make it straight. I had looked into you when it was said a new leader from the marching sect was coming. Qin Xinxi only saw you as a cultivation vessel. But sect leader you notice your talents. Truth be told, the marching sect treats women better than men. You won't make great achievements in a sect like that. You've got a point, go on. Don't think sect leader you is doing a favor by making you a branch leader. The marching sect has too many branches. If she really thought you were different, she wouldn't have sent you to this complicated city. Besides, even if you make great progress, the marching sect will be the beneficiary, rather than you. You have to live for yourself, right? Then what should I do? Perhaps you should let go some of your cold iron mind shares in the Jiangnan meeting that the court holds. The marching sect may suffer a loss, but you won't. We'll be on the same side if you say yes, beautiful women, money, goods. You can have everything Tsufing City has. I see you're after the cold iron mind shares, your offer is indeed tempting, but what if I refuse? We won't do anything able at that, we are just harmless business owners, after all, but if you don't treat us like ones of your own, we'll have no choice but to treat you the same way, we have been doing business in Sufing City for decades, our roots have grown deeply, as long as I want, the marching sect won't be able to buy anything here, not even an egg. Bosses indeed, I should be cooperative, but I have to say, who are you to bargain with me? Xia Yan, I'm nice to you for the sake of the marching sect, 
don't make me change my mind. Mr. Wu just failed to hit the pre-celestial stage, Mr. Xie. He's in a bad mood already. We can't help you if he goes mad. We're all in level 7 of the post-celestial stage, after all. Is he your biggest support? I thought you'd ask Ji Yutao for help. A repeated failure in breaking through and three everlasting level 7 cultivators in the pre-celestial stage. What makes you so confident? To boast in front of me? I think you misunderstood something. External sword rays? Finger of flowery swords from the Maching sect? He even mastered this? Do you think I became a branch leader because I'm pretty? Didn't you say he's a level 6 gigolo at most? He's at least a level 9 cultivator with at least one pre-celestial art from a major sect. The sect leader made me the Tsifeng branch leader because... I told you to stay alert. I'm strong enough to clear the foul air in Tsifeng city. You took them down with one move, Master Xia Yen. I haven't helped you. Get lost with your men. I'll see who dares to mess with the Maching sect now. I can't kill them, or this will become evidence of the Maching sect disturbing the local order. Whoever offends the Maching sect will die. I can see sword energy is all over the ship from here. It is the Maching sect's finger of flowery swords. I knew Mr. Xia hid his strength. Those people want to get the Maching sect's cold iron mind shares with the least cost, but they didn't know taking something from the powerful one would definitely cost them something big. This is good, though. They have no choice but to follow my orders now. Daoyun, the Fanshin sect is on good terms with the court. The imperial concubine came from your sect too. I have to ask for your help to deal with the court. Why do you look lost these days? I'm fine, and I'll take care of what you assign me. Since the devil inside appeared, I often failed to calm down. The jade pendant my master gave me has lost its tranquilizing effect. Is it contaminated by worldly filth? Disciples in the Fanshin sect must go through three trials before achieving greatness, worldly trouble, love, and the devil inside. I want to return to my sect soon, that way, I can continue my simple life. What a great plan, Mr. Xie. You made them think you're weak when first coming to Tsifeng City and only showed your real strength at the critical moment. You were patient at first and swift in the end, you surely know the art of war well. No wonder our sect leader would see you as her right hand. The story of you being Qin Shinsi's cultivation vessel must be for confusing the public. How insightful. This is just between you and me. Ji Chan Wu has got quite the imag in Atayan. He could be a great writer in the modern world. Don't get happy so soon. Ji Yuntao and Xia Daoyun have their backs. They even threaten to cut off our egg source. The Taishian sect and the Fanshin sect are looking at our cold iron mind shares too. A tough fight is waiting for us. They wouldn't dare to confront you since you showed your true strength. Cutting off our eggs? I'll cut off their balls. As for the cold iron mind shares, the court can't take it away without a solid reason. But there's no guarantee that the Fanshin sect and the Taishian sect wouldn't play dirty. You have a point. Where do you think they will be after first? We need to take precautions. With your presence here, even Ji Yuntao and Xia Daoyun wouldn't dare to mess with our branch. Even if they do, it'll be a declaration of war. They won't want that bad result. Right, the Maching sect can't defeat them if they join forces, but with the sect gate formation, we can at least make it a lose-lose situation. If they want to hit us with the least cost, then the opening will be. Our mines. The Maching sect has the biggest cold iron mines nearby Tsufing city. The output takes up around 80% of the total output in Kfong city. That's our money tree and weakness. I'll send a message by an eagle to alert the mines. We shall do more than that. We'll guard the mines ourselves. I'm afraid it'll be too late. Anyone with half a brain would have a plan B, which is attacking after failing to draw me over to their side. The next day. We've stayed up all night to get here, but it's still too late. I've asked the mine manager. He said a large group of thugs sneaked in and released poisonous gas on site. All the workers are poisoned, and they won't be able to work again unless having a long rehabilitation. They also blew the tunnels with explosives, and we need at least one to two months to dig them through. Our cold iron mine storage in the warehouse nearby was covered by purple flame liquid, too. Purple flame liquid? Isn't that a kind of catalyst for weapon forging? Putting it on ores will crystallize and crock them. Master Xia Yan over there. The eagle that our branch used for sending messages? It was intercepted midway. No wonder the mines didn't get our messages and failed to defend in time. They even put it here to provoke me further. Ji Yuntao must have demanded the four forces to do this and they didn't leave any traces. Without proof, we can't convict them. This is terrible. Without the people and minds, we can't restart the work before the Jiangnan meeting. 
The marching sect only came to Tsufeng not long ago. We won't have enough savings to pay the taxes this year. You need to be calmer when problems come, especially big ones, Chan Wu. I've looked into relevant information before I took the branch leader job. The Han Empire is more like a big martial alliance than a state. I guess it's a part of the world's future. The court delegate power to local forces, and it only has the power of appointment, surveillance, and mediation. Meanwhile, the appointed forces must pay taxes at a certain ratio. Every year, the court holds the Jiangnan meeting to collect taxes and redistribute the next year's mining rights and ratios. I can't. Not paying the taxes means breaking our promises to the court. In that case, decreasing our ratios would be an easy way off. The worst case scenario is they giving our minds away. Ji Yuntao did this to get the marching sex mining right. This is serious, Mr. Xie. We should ask for an elder's help from our sect. It'll make us look useless if we do that besides. Breaking this deadlock is easy. We just have to throw everyone under the bus. Then the game will restart. Small minds. Sharpen up and stay alert. You don't have to guard this place yourself. Mr. Wu, Xie Yen must be either crying with a few cold iron ores or running around to get enough money to pay the court. We can't slack Xie Yen is cunning. He may be thinking about dragging us down with him. I've set up traps. If the marching sect dares to come, I won't let anyone off, not even a servant. With the evidence of the marching sect ignoring the court and destroying mines, even if they have enough taxes, they will lose the mining right in the meeting. How insightful you are, Mr. Wu. What's going on? Oh my goodness. Mr. Wu, our warehouse for explosives is empty. Someone stole our explosives. What? The explosives were enough to wipe out this mountain. Mr. Wu, watch out for the falling rocks. No way. I'm at the level 9 of the post-celestial stage. Even if Xie Yen was here, he couldn't have sneaked in here and blown up the mines without being noticed. Who did this? Show yourself. I wanted to move the ores back, but I couldn't lift them at all so I had to blow up the mines and spill purple flame liquid on them. I've been a great help. Master Xie Yen will caress me for sure. I won't let him go unless he caresses me for at least fifteen minutes. I'm too weak. I must cultivate hard to do as many things as possible for Master Xie Yen. Our mines were blown and clogged. Our ores had been spilled and crocked by purple flame liquid. We can only continue mining after cleaning them up. Someone stole our explosives and detonated them on rugged spots. We didn't have time to react at all. I've investigated into everyone and found no one suspicious. Are you saying a ghost detonated our explosives? Besides the disciples I brought here, you arranged the rest tonight. Did you lure the marching sect here on purpose? Please calm down, Mr. Wu. I've been working for you for over ten years, Mr. Wu. I'm your most loyal employee. How dare you talk back? Calm down, Wu. We haven't found any evidence, but I'm sure that brat from the marching sect did it. We were guarding the fringe of mines while you were master at the level 9 of the post-celestial stage, guarding the center. How the hell did he bypass all our traps and sneak in there? That's not the point. This is a crisis. Our mines are all destroyed, and our stored ores are ruined now. What should we do about the taxes? The court only accepts ores. What Xie Yen did was exactly the same as we did to him. Xie Yen, I underestimated him. You finally came, child Yuntao. Please help us. The Jiangnan meeting will start soon, but we can't buy cold iron ores from the market. No need to panic, everyone, I always have a plan B. At least we destroyed the marching sex mines and made them fall into crisis. As for the amount of cold iron ores you need, I can help you. Only River Alliance has a large number of cold iron ores to sell at this hour. Nice, River Alliance must have been holding grudges since the marching sect drove them out of Tsufeng City. They must be willing to join us. What a genius plan. Child Yuntao, how insightful you are. Since you suffered a loss for me, I should make things right for you. Xie Yen blew up their minds without anyone's knowing. He's quite good. But the game is set. Let me see how you'll struggle in my game. The branch of marching sect in Kfong City. You really blew up their minds, Mr. Xie? Did you leave any traces? Those four have run business in Sufeng City for decades. Their informers are everywhere. That's why they could sneak attack our minds without our knowing. But it's hard for us to do the same. Ji Yuntao will toss the marching sect out of the game once he gets something on us. The court values the mines in Jiangnan. They will act when it comes to the ores. Don't worry. No traces will be found. It's done. Caress my head. Please, please. Now it's time to think about how to gather enough ores for the taxes. This is tricky. Two. Our only option is to buy some from the market. But it's hard to reach the number we need. 
I have an idea. Perhaps we should go find the River Alliance. Five days later Shishan City, Jiangnan region. Located high, your alliance enjoys beautiful views of mountains and streams. With the front gate facing the sea, you can watch three rivers meet and running. The River Alliance controls 18 waterways in the Jiangnan region. Now I can see how extraordinary it is. You do live up to your reputation. Especially you, the chief. Look how strong you are. What a woman of iron. Xin Jinner, chief of the River Alliance. How surprising. I didn't expect I'd meet a bastard from watching sect like you in my place. Let me think. How should I kill you? You surely have a sense of humor. I came here to meet you with passion. She's exactly the same as what the information says. A woman who's as bulky as a bear. What a pity. I have nothing to say to you. Guards, break his legs and throw him out. What's the hurry? Care to hear my story? After that, you may change your mind and honor me. Fine, since you had the balls to come to River Alliance alone, I'll listen to your babble for a while. But if your story is bad, I'll tie you HP myself and feed you to sharks. Thank you for your consideration, chief. The story took place in the Jiangnan region. The Jiangnan region is prosperous and has rich resources. Two wolves started fighting for resources because of dissent later. Soon, they held grudges. Their strength was almost even, as long as they suppressed the foxes and dogs. Each wolf could enjoy a good life. But one day, two lions came, they had their eyes on the Jiangnan region. The lions chose one of the wolves and tried to snatch its territory. If they succeed, can the other wolf keep its territory? I assume you've figured out what happened in Xifeng City recently. The Maqing sect and the River Alliance are like the two wolves. We fight, but we break even, no one is losing. But the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect are two starving lions. A small city like Xufeng won't make them full. Why do you think they went through all the way here? They are here to devour the whole Jiangnan region. The Maqing sect's base isn't in the Jiangnan region. It's okay for us to be thrown out. But I think it's another story for you. Do you think the River Alliance can fight against two top sects alone? I see you have a silver tongue. Did you get your tongue trained because of Qin Shinsi? You're asking for the River Alliance's help, but you made it sound like we're the one asking for favors. We're on the same boat here, chief, please think it through. You have a point, but a guest came before you a long time ago. I've already accepted his offer. Nice to meet you, Mr. Xie. Guest? I'm Gao Bufan from the Taishian sect. Senior G foresaw your coming, so he sent me to convince Miss Jin with nice gifts. And I'm glad to say that we have reached an agreement. Looks like you will be going home empty-handed. I see. I wonder what kind of gifts could move the River Alliance. Ji Yuntao had foreseen my plan. Not bad for him. But I heard the bear lady isn't as careless as she shows. She has been running the River Alliance perfectly since she became the chief a few years ago. Wei Rodeo could only snatch Xufeng's city when Jin Jinner hadn't taken the chief position. A leader like her must have known the risks of letting the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect expand to the Jiangnan region. She accepted their offer in exchange for something else. Stop prying, Mr. Xie. I'll tell you nothing. It's not a secret. I accepted their offer for great reviving elixirs. Huh, Miss Jin? Something went wrong with my cultivation. So I need the Tai Xian sex secret great reviving elixirs. I've taken one as a down payment. They'll give me the other three after the Jiangnan meeting. So, bastard Xie, whatever you're trying to sell, it won't work. Your story was interesting, and I'm giving you a chance to leave now. It seems you've looked into me thoroughly, chief. Jin Jinner is injured? We didn't get this information, but why is she telling me this now? Does she want to use the Taishan sect as a threat to me so that I may use Finger of Nirvana on her? She must have known the fact that I cured my sect leader in a mysterious way. Stop, why are you approaching Miss Jin? Who are you to stop me? Normally, Jin Jinner would never ask for an enemy's favor but now there can be chances. Are you in charge of the River Alliance now? Know your place, minion from Taishan sect. Move. Ghostly enchantment. He he he, you must have never seen such a beautiful man like me. How can I hide my perfect body under clothes? I must share it with the world. Enjoy my biality, everyone, you're welcome. It's the first time I see someone stripping in the loyalty hall of the River Alliance. Let's beat him up. Now there's no obstacle between us. I'll make your wish come true. You got him possessed? Well, well, you're from an evil sect indeed. But what's more surprising, you learned my true intention so fast. Why be so roundabout, chief? You only want a cure, what if I hadn't come here today? Then I'll abduct you when the Taishian sect gets Xufeng City and throws you out. But I don't want to be that brutal. I'm at the pre-celestial stage and way stronger than you, so you won't have any chance of escape. 
but what if you can't take the humiliation and suicide? I don't want that. You are surely unruly, chief. Please sit tight and let me have a try. Jinjin cares about her injury a lot. Even if I'm just in the ninth level of the post-celestial stage, there's a chance I break her internal power shield with finger of flowery swords. She just let me try. I'd try to break her shield if I hadn't needed her support. This feeling. No wonder Yu Hongyan cherishes you. Huh, is this what Jinjuna wants to heal? A bear lady becomes a lovely girl, what's going on? My internal power calms now, I haven't felt so comfortable for a long time. I'm glad you are okay. I wanted not to cure her completely to keep her on the hook, but the system deducted 200 origin points and cured her. I'm out of practice since the finger of Nirvana was altered. I cultivate chaotic bear mantra, a pre-celestial art. Something went wrong during the cultivation and God internal power filled my body. It made me bigger and bigger. It didn't influence my strength, but I'd become a giant if I had kept cultivating like that. That would be inconvenient for me. Finally, she got back into her original shape. We couldn't stop worrying about her marriage before. The old chief couldn't get over this problem even at the end of his life. Screw you, why would I need a husband? Go get me some clothes of the right size. Nope, I don't think her figure was the problem. She's a tomboy growing up with muscular guys. That man is no weaker than Ji Chan Wu, Master Xia Yin. I'm exhausted. I couldn't keep him possessed any longer. Go get some rest for now. Everything was settled. What happened? He must have cast something evil on me. Where's the chief? I must warn her not to fall for any of his evil spells. Sounds like you know me better than I do. I have problems with the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect trying to expand their territory to the Jiangnan region. I accepted your offer only because I needed your help. Now my illness has gone. Your elixirs won't be needed. But I've used one elixir, after all. So our deal still stands. I'm gonna sell you the promised amount of cold iron ores. Thanks, chief. I owe you a big one, Mr. Xie. But that's personal. The River Alliance and the Matching Sect have had grudges for a long time. I'm afraid my people won't agree to work with you. However, I'll sell you enough cold iron ores to solve your problem. And that's just my personal decision. That's exactly why I came here, thank you, chief. I knew Jinjuna would make the best decision after getting free of the Taishian sect, as long as the Maoqing sect stands. The Taishian sect won't be able to step in. Then the River Alliance will watch the Maoqing sect and the Taishian sect fighting without getting involved. She is quite smart. I like dealing with smart people. All right, both of you, get lost, someone, set them off. Should we just sit around and do nothing, Senior Chan Wu? Our minds were racked. But Xia Yin ditched everything and left. That's just your prejudice talking, Yenner. He must be seeking external help. But he went to the River Alliance. They hold a grudge against us. There's no way they would help us. Xia Yin never thinks about the consequences. He only does what he wants. Maybe ordinary people wouldn't know what to do at all. But Mr. Xia isn't one of them. I'm sure he will return with good news. I hope you can respect Mr. Xia more, or I'll tell our sect to take you back. I don't want you here as a bad influence on our confidence. What did you say, Ji Chan Wu? I'm a bad influence. Fine. I'll leave then. Xia Yen isn't a reliable branch leader, and Senior Chan Wu somehow admires him. Our sect is in big trouble now. I'm anxious about it. But I can't do anything but fighting. My master will be so disappointed in me. What bothers you, Miss Shi Yenner? If you need some sympathetic ears, we are right here. What are you here for? I have nothing to talk with you about. According to Senior Chan Wu, it was the local forces that destroyed our minds, but we have no evidence to prove that. Don't be nervous, Miss Yenner. Actually, Child G had us find you. He wondered if you could do him a favor. Child G, how come? Why would he remember me? Are you serious, Miss Yenner? You're so pretty and smart. You've naturally impressed Child G. We know you because you stalk Ji Yuntao every day. Child G loves innocent girls like you, Miss Yenner. He adores you. A silly girl with a sensitive character can be a perfect puppet. I've learned how perfect you are, Miss Shi Yenner, Child Yuntao. Did he really say that? Child Yuntao is very worried about Xiu Feng's overall development. While Mr. Xia doesn't care about that at all, he's been messing around. I'm saying this since there's no one nearby. We did do something to the mines, but we did it because Xia Yen is so unreasonable. Child Ji hopes that Xiu Feng's city can be more peaceful. That's why he decided to teach Xia Yen a lesson. He did it to warn Xia Yen not to be so willful and short-sighted. Well, that's exactly the problem. Xia Yen is indeed terrible. Even I want to beat him. If you can teach him a lesson and make him behave, I'll agree. What is Child Ji's plan? 
Xie Yan raided and destroyed our mines, there's a big chance that our mines won't be able to produce any ores again, not to mention his raid killed many innocent people. He's so devious that even Chao Ji could only find the slightest trace on him. That's not enough to convict him. If you can write down a letter confirming that Xie Yan raided our mines, Chao Yuntao will be impressed. Did Chao Yuntao tell you this? I know what you're worried about. The Maoqing sect will be involved, but it's just a minor mistake of picking the wrong person to be the branch leader. Just let Xie Yan take all the blames. He'll die. His death won't do any harm to the overall situation here and you'll make a meritorious exploit. There's a big chance for you to succeed in the branch leader position. Do I look that stupid, or you think I care about that position? The Maoqing sect's minds were destroyed, and our workers died. You are the ones who played dirty. Now you want me to write down a letter to betray my own sect? You got us wrong, we. Leave it to me. I see you're not stupid at all, Miss Yenner. But only women know women. Marrying the right person is so much more important than protecting your sect. Child Yuntao wants you to betray your sect because that's the only way he can accept you. A woman from an evil sect, think about it. Marrying gentle, handsome child Yuntao and living a happy life with him. Don't you want that? I would love it. I did hate Xie Yen and like child Yuntao, but now. Ji Yuntao disgusts me. I'm the formal disciple of the Grand Elder in the Maoqing sect. Who is he to persuade me to hurt and betray my sect? Who does he think I am? Get lost. The information we got said she's just a silly girl with big boobs. We failed. We used Ji Yuntao's name without permission. Don't let him know. Ji Yuntao, child warm jade. What devious trash. I took you wrong. It's all Xie Yan's fault. If he were more like a gentleman, I wouldn't have taken a look at another man. Shishan City. Jiangnan region. Achu. Did you catch a cold, master? It's windy beside the river. Take care. I'm okay. A cold is nothing for cultivators. It must be caused by someone thinking about me. Is it the sect leader or Shinsi? I'm so hot. It's natural that women think about me all day. Huh. He's so creepy. I want to beat him up. What's wrong, Master Xie? Nothing. I just thought about something. I'll try to talk to Jinjiner. Did you just choose that muscular woman over me? You won't smile for long. Senior G will screw you one day. This is unexpected. I must return and tell Senior G about this. Ten days later, Tsufeng City. You finally came back, Mr. Xie. Don't worry, Mr. Xie. Everything went well when you were away. The local forces didn't mess around much. Thanks for your hard work during this time. What's wrong with her? She's got that spaced out look since she went out one day. She doesn't look ill. She looks as if she just got turned down after expressing love. No way, sure Yenner would only have a crush on someone, she'd never make it clear. Sure Yenner, hey, wake up. Sure. Have you gained the support of the River Alliance, Xia Yen? Yeah, it's done, we've got the ore tax. What's wrong with her? She scared the hell out of me. Good job. You've really impressed me. What's your point? Nothing, you must take Xufeng City and not disgrace the Maoqing sect and reveal that hypocrite Ji Yuntao's true colors. Mauching sex branch. I don't know why you changed your opinions about me, but I do need your help. Ji Yuntao and I were thinking about the same thing. We all think the River Alliance would mark a turning point in our conflict. And Jinjiner, the River Alliance's chief, is a shrewd bear. She would sell cold iron ores to the Mauching sect and local forces in Sufeng, trying to watch us fight. So everything returned to the start point. But no one got an advantage out of this. Why do you suddenly feel cold? You shouldn't have scared me. I don't allow you to be rude to Master Xie Yen. The Maoqing sect lost since it broke even with local forces. If we didn't have to care about the mining rights, I would have eliminated all of them. That's what an evil sect would do. I have an idea. Their ship is light with few oars, so they'll arrive in Xufeng City within three days. Let's intercept that ship. Just pull the plug? Good idea then. Ji Chan Wu, check out the terrain and choose an ambush point. Besides, call our escorts back. That way, our ship will be vulnerable. But there aren't enough men in this branch anyway. We have to gather together and mate it at once. Sure, Yenner, you're the third strongest one in this branch. You'll be the vanguard of the hijack. Okay, I'll take care of it. Why is it getting colder in this room? All right, leave our branch to me. We will make a big deal with full force this time. Two days later. Kneel and get your hands above your head, or you'll be dead. There's something off. They are all common sailors. I see no one from the local forces. Huh, isn't it great to win without fighting? They wouldn't ship the oars without any guards. Where are the enemies? 
So you are saying the ship and oars are all fine, but there's something wrong with our enemies? I asked my informant and learned that the heads of local forces, Ji Yuntao, and Xie Daoyun are all in the city. We wanted to kill their crew and grab the oars secretly while there's no veteran on the ship. But now it looks like they lured us here. I'm worried that the information we got may be wrong and they might hijack our ship as well. What's this? An exchange? They only got about 1,500 kilos on their ship, but we had 23,930 kilos. Well played. Have some sweet grapes, Chan Wu. Don't be so angry. I'm not in the mood of eating now, Mr. Xia. The Jiannan meeting will start the day after tomorrow. We don't even have enough time to repurchase enough oars from the River Alliance. Since only common sailors are on that ship, keep them alive, offer meals to them, we'll release them later. As for our oars, it's too late to secure them. But don't panic, we'll see who wins in the Jiannan meeting. Ji Yuntao planned all this. We always came up with the same idea. Interesting. Do you have a thump card up your sleeve, Mr. Xia? Meanwhile, hurry up, don't miss anything. Move the oars ashore and send them back to Tsufeng City by carriage. How insightful you are, child Yuntao. You released fake news and made the watching sect think we're still in the city. They wouldn't know we had been lying in ambush here already. You took those oars as bait to lure their guards away, and we seized the opportunity and attacked their ships easily. But we lost our oars. We bought that with our money. Don't be so petty, Madam Hao. Exchanging more than 23,000 kilos oars with 1,500 kilos. That's a great deal. The more, the merrier. Remember what I told you, don't kill anyone without a solid reason. After the oars are transported, lock up the sailors for now and release them after the Jiangnan meeting. The Maoqing sect can't do anything now. What would you do now, Xia Yin? On the day of the Jiangnan meeting. Xiaco City, Jiangnan region. It said you are gentle and Loki. Now I know it's true, child warm jade indeed. Chao Tianho, governor of the Jiangnan region at the pre-celestial stage. I'm flattered, I really appreciate people's favor, I'm afraid I don't deserve it. Miss Daoyun, I can see how unworldly and elegant you are, but there's an extraordinary aura on you, no wonder you are the best disciple of the Fanshin sect in your generation. Don't make fun of me, sir, I've learned how inexperienced I am during this journey, I've practiced sword of immortal limpidity for nearly twenty years, but I wobbled while facing the outside world. Few people could realize that. When you comprehend a moment of wobble is just the moon image in the mind lake, I will always stand fast with my true self, the pre-celestial stage will be within your reach. Please have a seat, Daoyun, your martial aunt, imperial concubine Yun told me to take care of you if I could meet you someday. Jiangnan region includes Wuling City, Jinyang City, Linan City, Sunchuan City, Xiaco City, Shishan City, Xiching City, and Xufeng City. Eight gangs used to take charge of one city respectively, but later... Shishan Gang merged with others and founded the River Alliance. They occupy almost half of the Jiangnan region. A few years ago, the Maoqing sect drove the River Alliance away from Xufeng City when Xufeng Gang just joined the River Alliance. The old chief of the river happened to pass away at that time. The two things stalled the River Alliance's expansion. Even so, the River Alliance is too deep-rooted to be moved. You were right to start with the Maoqing sect, the newcomer. Thank you for the information, sir. All right. The Jiannan meeting starts from sunrise and ends with sundown. Since the sun is rising in the east, the other forces should be coming. The first ones are the people you told me about. Our tax only requires 1,500 kilos from us, but we all take it very seriously. Here are 5,000 kilos of cold iron ores for the court. Please kindly accept it, Mr. Chow. That's why you came with a high profile, right? You wanted me to know the exact number. But this is good to hear. I thank you on behalf of the court. Child Yuntao required us to arrive at the Jiangnan meeting as soon as possible to win Mr. Chao's favor. It will help us to deal with the Maoqing sect later. We'll take down the Maoqing sect with their oars. How splendid! We've got more than 15,000 kilos left after giving out this 5,000. The number is enough for us to make a fortune. Another force is coming. It's the Siako gang. They're good at taming dolphins. When it comes to a sea fight, they will be as swift as the wind. Greetings, Mr. Chao. Mr. Song the leader of the Xiaoko gang, in the ninth level of the post-celestial stage. This is the Wuling gang. Martial cultivation may not be their strong suit, but they have a unique way of running businesses. They have made a great fortune and recruited many talents. It's been a while, Mr. Chow. Mr. Wu, the leader of the Wuling gang in the seventh level of the post-celestial stage. I feel like I'm turning blind every time I see you, Wu. Long time no see. Mr. Pun, the leader of the Xichen gang 
in the ninth level of the post-celestial stage. Mr. Peng is the leader of Xichen Gang, they're good at crafting weapons, the court values them as well. Those three gangs have allied with the River Alliance on the surface, but they don't want to merge, you can be friends with them when you set foot in Xufeng City. The River Alliance will become a top-tier sect if it keeps expanding and occupies the entire Jiannan region. No one wants that. The Han Empire's order has been settled. Having another top sect may cause more conflicts. You seem absent-minded, Daoyun. I'm just thinking if it's too early for us to deal with the River Alliance only. We don't know what is up the marching sect's sleeve after all. The River Alliance and the marching sect happen to be late. You want to hit the road right after winning? I'm just about to show you my ability. This game you taught me is interesting. Let's have another 100 rounds. It's getting late. We should set off for the Jiangnan meeting, but it's inappropriate for us to go there together. Let's separate for now. I hope you won't forget about your promise, chief. I knew you brought Mahjong tiles here to please us, so that you can make sure I wouldn't break my promise. All right, I get it. It's a waste for us not to use the marching sect as a shield anyway. Then I'll be leaving. Usually, some people would look worried in the Jiangnan meeting but I see you are all relaxed. You're even in the mood for chatting. Looks like you didn't lose the subtle competition with the River Alliance this year. We adjusted our way of doing things and played some small tricks. Anyway, we stopped the River Alliance from taking an inch. So what if Xing Junior is as cunning as a fox? She lost. Not bad. But remember, some things can only stay below the surface. You can't let anything affect the mining. The court sees cold iron ores as a key resource. Gangs in Jiangnan region are short-sighted. Letting the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect balance the forces is good for the court. I heard many accidents happened in Xufeng City. It happened because of the Marching sect. They've caused lots of trouble. But we couldn't gather enough evidence to convict them. We just bear the loss ourselves. But rest assured, Mr. Chow, no matter how hard our lives are, the or tax will always be delivered. The Marching sect is messing with the entire city. Everyone in Xufeng City wishes the court to uphold justice. I see. But according to the agreement that was reached when the Han Empire was founded, the court only has the right to supervise these powers. We can't meddle with your conflicts. But if the marching sect can't deliver enough tax, it'll be a breach. In that case, the court would have a reason to uphold justice for you. That's reassuring. The marching sect won't deliver enough or tax. They aren't here, are they? They don't even dare to show up. Bastards in the Jiangnan region and Chao. I miss you so much. They are coming. The River Alliance likes making an impressive entrance. Unrestrained esoterica. Miss Shin, your greeting is as enthusiastic as always. You threw a ship right at me last year, and I could barely take that, your figure? Looks like you've made progress on Chaotic Bear Mantra and finally kept your rampaging internal power under control. Congratulations. Congratulations to you too, Chao. I wanted to shoot right through your head. Looks like you improved your unrestrained esoterica as well. Come have a seat. Wait, what did you toss? It looks like a gambling card that is often found in casinos. It's called Mahjong. Playing it is fun. Mr. Xia from the Marching Sect invented it. Shall we start a few rounds? But we need a prize. How about we gamble on your territories? I've quit gambling for years. Please don't push me back to it, Chief. Yeah, gambling is bad for your health and public morality. We'd better not, Chief. Gambling may be fun for now, but it's addictive. Boring. The Jiannan meeting is about to start. Let's save that for later. It's getting late, Mr. Chow. Everyone is here besides the marching sect. We can't put everyone on hold just for Xia Yin. True, then. Why would the weather change so quickly? A palanquin flying in the sky with whimpering melodies? I live in a bamboo grove, the sky unseen. The road hither is steep and dangerous. I arrive alone and late. Alone I stand on the mountaintop while the clouds gather beneath me. All gloomy and dark is the day. The east wind drifts, and God sends down rain. Waiting for the Divine One, I forget to go home. The year is late. Who will now bedeck me? It's ghostly but beautiful. Who wrote this poem? I didn't know anyone who could make such a wonderful poem. I sense the ghostly aura is all over this place, but I found it thin after scanning the surroundings with my senses. I sense the ghostly aura is all over this place, but I found it thin after scanning the surroundings with my senses. I'll use my skill and take a look. Ghosts for real? They don't have substances. It's not much of a threat, but it's the art of a psychic. I only saw this kind of evil art from the ancient records in my sect. Where did the marching sect gain that? Sorry to have kept you waiting, everyone. I'm Xia Yen, the branch leader of the marching sect here. 
I'm late because I had to prepare enough ores to pay the tax, sorry. I heard Mr. C.I. is just in the ninth level of the post-celestial stage, controlling substances with internal power and walking on air. Only pre-celestial cultivators can do that. This is horrible. We can't mess with him. Wow, what a harvest. Looks like they haven't noticed anything. They think I'm at the pre-celestial stage. Masters at the pre-celestial stage such as Chao Tianho and Jin Jinner could notice something is off quickly, but they couldn't see ghosts. Oh, Xia Daoyun is quite pretty, but she looks so staid, not as sultry as my wife. I see you are a real talent from the Maqing sect. What a genius way to control ghosts. I admire that. Only Ji Yun Tao, who has cultivated mantra of Middle Heaven Polaris, could see ghosts clearly. Seems like the martial arts of the Tai Xian sect can restrain ghosts. On the other side, it was right to tell Qing'er to stay away while I use Ghost Parade. She worked hard on this. I need to think about how to reward her later. You flattered me, Child Yun Tao. That's just a small trick. It can't compete with the Tai Xian sect's grand arts. I'm Xia Yen from the Maqing sect. Nice to meet you, Mr. Chao. May I ask you a question? Please go ahead, Mr. Xia. Why would outsiders be at this meeting? I don't remember that the Tai Xian sect and the Fanxin sect have the right to attend this meeting. They are my younger acquaintances. I brought them here to broaden their horizon. Don't mind them, Mr. Xia. It's getting late. We should get seated and start the Jiangan meeting. Sure. Ji Yuntao and Xia Daoyun are close with the court. They got Chao as their support. I know I've said this before, but I need to emphasize this again. The Jiangnan meeting's procedure is fixed. Please follow it. I'm here on behalf of the court to collect the or tax and preserve order if necessary. The court won't meddle with issues related to the mind shares. Please negotiate it yourselves. If the received amount of ores is less or inferior than the standard, the court will take back the forces mining right for the other forces to handle. Getting a good result or not depends on your abilities. Now, present and read the account book that each city submitted. From the last 8th of lunar January to the 8th of the lunar January this year, Jinyang City has produced 60,000 kilos of cold iron ores in total, including 22,500 superb kilos, 29,000 fine kilos, 6,000 qualified kilos, and 2,500 flawed kilos. The ore tax requires 18,000 kilos of ores with fine or above quality. The amount and requirement have been met. Siako City has produced 56,500 kilos of cold iron ores in total. The amount and requirement have been met. Wuling City, Linen City, Shishan City. From the last 8th of lunar January to the 8th of the lunar January this year, Maqing Sect in Xufeng City has produced 80,000 kilos of cold iron ores in total. The amount and requirement have been met. How dare you lie in front of everyone, Xie Yen? What's wrong? Mines in Xufeng suffered from multiple accidents, Mr. Chow. The output on the book might be true, but they can't deliver enough or tax. I overestimated you, Xie Yen. I thought you would use some tricks, however, you just tried to deceive the court. This is unforgivable. My oars are on their way here. Why would you accuse me of that? You look ugly when you try to frame me, Mr. Zhao. On their way here? Save it, Mr. Xia. Our people were watching the port all the time and they only saw you returning alone. There was no ship with oars. Can you tell us where your oars are? Still refuse to admit defeat even now? Oars? You have nothing to deliver except your life. What do you want to say, Mr. Xia? What's the hurry? Is there a rule saying one must deliver the oars as he arrives? Can't you just wait for a few hours? Everything will become clear when the right time comes. He's bluffing to buy himself some time, Mr. Chow. I think we should repel the marching sect from Xufeng City. We all know the current situation of the marching sect. Stop struggling and save yourself some dignity, Mr. Xie. Quitting now is better than getting repelled. No one knows what happened to my minds and oars better than you. Don't let your oars make you overconfident. If the Maqing sect loses its mining right, we'll have nothing holding us back. Enjoy your happy time now because things may go south for you in the future. Are you threatening us in public, Xie Yen? Mr. Chow is watching, Mr. Xie. You've gone too far to threaten us. Don't get me wrong, Mr. Yun Tao. The Maqing sect never messes with anyone without a proper reason. And we have our reason this time. Mr. Xie, I beat these two for trying to touch Yen's thighs. You must make things right for me, Mr. Xie. I can't live without a clean reputation. See? Here's the proper reason. Chan Wu, give them back to Mr. Wu. If it happens again, just cut off the thing between their legs. Enjoy your happy life for now, people. Don't think about framing your death on the marching sect if that happens someday. Sure Yena was the one who beat them for no reason, Xie Yen. 
Stop trying to muddle through. Get lost if you don't have enough oars. Enough, Mr. Xie. Jiannan meeting isn't where you can mess around. If you can't pay the ore tax, I'll have to take away your mining right on behalf of the court. Oh, I'm not messing around. I was nice enough to let them be men after harassing my martial sister. Besides, who says I can't pay the tax? They are on their way here. I've told you many times. They are there. I can see them. Of course they couldn't intercept my second shipment by guarding the waterways to Tsufeng City. Ching is back. Seems like Shenzhener has kept her promise. Xie Yan can control such a clear animal ghost. Looks like that's how he blew up the mines. I knew you'd play dirty, so I asked Chief Shin to directly send our purchase to Xiaoko City. I did that for Mahjong, or else I wouldn't care about your mess. It should be here now. What? My lord, another ship with oars has arrived. What? Impossible. The marching sect has enough oars then. Did we work so hard for nothing? Think of a way, child G. Well played, Mr. Xie. I admire your wisdom. Looks like the River Alliance doesn't want the marching sect to be out of the picture. Jinjiner is a shrewd woman, but that's okay. I've prepared for it. Daoyun, since the marching sect pays the tax, there's nothing I can do to help you. The court has to follow the oaths of the alliance. Please don't mind me, Mr. Chow. The Fanchin sect wants no oaths to be broken. It's getting late, since all the oars have arrived. Let's start the inspection. Jinyang City delivered 18,250 fine kilos and five ships in total. Marching sect in Tsufeng City has delivered 20,400 fine kilos and 12 ships in total. Willing City, Linen City, Xiching City. I heard you paid 3,500 more kilos to kiss the courts, but, wow, how great you are. What's your point? Don't let it go to your head. We have plenty of time to settle this, Xie Yin. Plenty of time? You wish, I'm afraid you won't have the chance. Something is off. Xie Yan's attitude is so strange. Does he have something else up in his sleeves except for the River Alliance? Forces in Sufeng City have delivered 5,000 superb kilos in total. No way. Even the River Alliance only pays the ore tax with fine quality. There's no way they sold superb ores to others. Are the ores fake? I specifically asked them to verify the quality. They know the ores too well to mistake the quality. Only we delivered superb ores. That must impress the court. Even if we can't get rid of the marching sect for now, we still stand a chance to achieve our goals step by step in the future. There's no future for you. Xie Yan wouldn't bluff at this hour. The four of them must have seen the oars wrong. What do you mean, child Ji? We didn't win, but we didn't lose either. We just failed to make the marching sect suffer. Objection. Something is wrong with your oars. You missed and now you're out. The local forces in Tsufeng City counterfeited oars to fool the court. How's that even possible? We checked the oars, and they were fine. Besides, the River Alliance sold this batch to the marching sect. How could it be counterfeit? Did the River Alliance do that on purpose to set the marching sect up? Has the River Alliance mastered a counterfeit skill that's way better than we could imagine? Woo! Watch your mouth. I'm always a forthright woman. If you slander me with made-up accusations again, the River Alliance will feed you to sharks. Mr. Xie, the inspector didn't report anything wrong. Do you have anything to prove your conclusion? I don't like slandering. You want proof? Of course I have. Superb cold iron ore is very rare. With their petty amount of mines, how could they deliver 5,000 superb kilos? And there's no way they could buy such fine quality from other forces. Take care, Mr. Chow. How will you explain to the court if you return with those fake ores? I just picked one ore randomly. Please have a look. Wait. Why could he cut a superb cold iron ore open so easily? Even a master in the first level of the pre-celestial stage might not be able to do that. Could he be? Why is the core green? The core of a superb cold iron or should black? No wonder he cracked it so easily. He did it so easily because he's strong enough. If Mr. Wu had such strength, he wouldn't have delivered those counterfeit goods to the court unless that was exactly what they wanted. I see. If I had been the one checking the oars, things wouldn't have come to this. I slacked and trusted them too much. Some people just can't help making counterfeit goods, thanks to Mr. Xie. These goods won't go to the market and damage Jiangnan region's reputation. I thought only pre-celestial masters could verify the authenticity. I underestimated Xie Yan. Now I need to improve our skills to make a final version of counterfeits and make a great fortune in the neighboring country. I know we sometimes make fake ores, medicine, and weapons to fool the neighboring barbarian countries, but delivering those to fool the court? Are you out of your mind? Impossible, 
The marching sect must have placed the counterfeit or to frame us. Yeah, that must be it. Shut up. Unrestrained esoterica. All of them are counterfeit. Do the inspection again. Pick one out of every hundred from all the oars. I'll inspect the oars myself. I've been hosting the annual Jiangan meeting for more than ten years, but this is the first time I've ever seen such disrespect to the court. I'll investigate this and convict whoever is involved in this. The oars came from the marching sect. They set us up. We are wrong, Mr. Chow. Look at what you're doing, lying through your teeth, let alone the fact that all your oars are counterfeit. Why would you have the marching sex oars? Why, tell us. Force me to throw good money after bad? I'll make you pay for all this sooner or later. It must be your trick. Xie Yen, who knows how many kinds of evil arts your sect has, don't get fooled, Mr. Chow. How dare you rave in front of a high official from the court? Don't think about confusing the right and wrong here, evil. At least our sect delivered a perfect batch. Investigate as much as you want, Mr. Chow. Marching sect didn't evade any taxes. I swear it on my wife's life. The local forces in Sufeng City are now expelled from the Jiangnan meeting and deprived of their cold iron or mining right for deceiving the court. Other exact penalties will be discussed after the Jiangnan meeting. We're innocent, Mr. Chow. The marching sect set us up. Please believe us. The inspection continues. Take the oars here. All of you. Please let us go on board and take some oars for the inspection, sirs. I guarantee all my goods are real. You can inspect them all if you want. Sure, suit yourselves. Don't be stupid, Wu. Do you want to spend the day on the inspection instead of the Jiangnan meeting? Remember to pick oars from different corners. I'll have some of my men help you get it done. Make it quick. Thanks, Miss Shin. My oars came from River Alliance. Take your pick. How about having some men help me as well, Chief? Huh. Why would the Fort Sufeng locals do such a thing? They should be good people. What a shame. You've got what you wanted, Xie. Save it, you made me sick. You do have a sense of humor. Miss Shin. I admire your wisdom, Mr. Xie. If you weren't from an evil sect, we'd have nice communication. Origin point gained. Appreciation, Ji Yuntao. That doesn't sound right, Mr. Yuntao. I may come from the opposite side and have played against you, but I pay my taxes and take care of my local friends. Am I not a good person? He really admires me. Well, he's a man of his words, despite our different standpoints. There's nothing bad of him to be criticized. It's said that one's background doesn't matter at all. You divide people into good and evil with your bias at the very start. In that case, how can you really know anyone? Good and evil? It doesn't matter. All of you are just a bunch of bumpkins who can only think about how to mooch off the Jiangnan region. Miss Jin, stop talking about the pot calling the kettle black. The River Alliance wanted no less than the past. Did I say I wasn't one of you? Why did you bring that up? Shouldn't we condemn the outsiders together? Bah, no one is together with you, old maid. Or are you just asking for a beating, Wu? Wow, look how close they are. Are we looking at the same thing, Mr. Xia? Close or not, it's lively. They won't argue for long. Mr. Chow should wrap things up soon. The last or, it's a good one, except for the oars on that small ship. All the other oars are real. That's great. I've done inspecting. How was the inspection, Mr. Chow? Was there anything wrong? What kind of question is that, Mr. Song? What could possibly go wrong? Everything must be fine. Your oars are real. You can relax now. Good, then not everyone dares to lie to the court. Since the inspection has been done, shall we enter the next phase? Yes, the inspection took me long enough. Let's distribute the cold iron or mining rights in Jiangnan region now. Here comes the key point. We'll start with Tsufeng City since things have gone wrong in that area. I recommend replacing the Tsufeng locals with Xia Daoyun and Ji Yuntao from the Fanxin sect and the Taishian sect respectively. What do you think? I knew he'd help those two get into Tsufeng City. Their expectation went from the marching sect mines to the Tsufeng locals' mines. That's not what they really wanted. I agree. I didn't expect Jin Juna would be the first one to say yes. What happened to our friendship? What do you mean, chief? Nothing, I just want more people to play mahjong with me. That's cruel but understandable. If Xie and Ji get a foothold in Sufeng City, the three sects will restrain each other. That way, there will be no match for the River Alliance. I thought they didn't want the Taishian sect to enter the Jiangnan region. Are the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect really coming to Sufeng City? Calm down. The court can only make recommendations on issues related to the mining fights. At worst, just fight for that. An evil sect like us doesn't have a reputation to maintain anyway. Votes can't get them in. They'll have to defeat me first. Those righteous sects are not like us. 
They think of bullying as a dishonor. At least I'll be facing Xie Daoyun and Ji Yuntao only at this meeting because pre-celestial martial artists in their sects must be too proud to fight me. I don't agree, me, either, same here. Jiangnan region can only have one major sect, not two. What if the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect think Xiufeng's city is too small to share with others and decide to snatch our territories as the Maqing sect did? The Maqing sect is the River Alliance's match now, and that's enough for us. If their sects fight the Maqing sect all day, who knows whether Zhenzhenu will start tackling us. Anyway, I'll just play against the River Alliance. I can't say yes to that either. The locals' minds are too small for Mr. Yuntao and Miss Xia. It's better to let the Maqing sect handle them all. The River Alliance has four votes because they're in charge of four cities, so it's a draw, since you can't agree to disagree. Let's move this forward with the tradition. Plus Xia Daoyun and Ji Yuntao. All of you will fight for the mining rights that belong to the Tsufeng locals. I'm out. Tsufeng city is too far away from Shiako city. I don't want to get involved. Count me out. Wuling city has many businesses and is on good terms with all sects. It's not worth it to offend a major sect for a small mining area. Xiqing city is next to Tsufeng city. But we mind our own businesses only. I'm out. What a bunch of losers. You flinched before it even got started. People will laugh at us. And I can't stand that. Are you in Miss Xin? Well, make a guess. You have your eyes on Tsufeng City too? I thought with our friendship, at least you wouldn't make things worse for me. I don't think she's gonna play, but I have to be prepared because she's too unpredictable. If she decides to play, she can defeat Ji Yuntao and me combined. Put personal relationships aside. I'm striving for my sect here, and I feel nothing wrong with that. The adorable Mahjong aside, I gave out something precious that day for you, Chief. Forget it. Let it be a dream that moved me even after it was over. Didn't I compensate you with oars? Why did you bring that up? Something precious. Could it be? No wonder Jinjina was suddenly cured. Perhaps some kind of an energy-absorbing art from the evil sect got her rampaging internal power under control. She paid him off with only a few ships of oars. What a loss, Mr. Xie. Shut up, losers. Fine, my health is worth a lot more than ships of oars. The River Alliance is out too. I won't step into your mess. I'll leave all this to you. Sufeng locals only had bits of the total shares. It's best for the River Alliance to watch the Taishian sect and the Fanxin sect fighting violently with the Maqing sect. Daoyun. I'm okay with it. Do what you want, Senior Ji. Thanks for your understanding, Daoyun. And thank you for appreciating and recommending us, Mr. Chow. No need recommending was I could do. The result depends on you. So it leaves the two of us in the impasse, Mr. Yun Tao. I wouldn't use the word impasse. I'd quit if you were at the sixth level of the post-celestial stage because I already lost on the strategic aspect. But I don't want to give up after a long time of planning. Luckily, you're also at the ninth level, so this is not a bully. You first, Mr. Yuntao. So this is what the righteous sect is like. Besides matters of principle, they even need a reasonable cause to fight. That's oddly cute, but I like it. Mr. Xia, please. Branch Master Xia. Although we're both at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, I am more or less your senior in terms of experience, so there's no need to be polite, just go ahead and make your move. Since you said so. Brother Yuntao, please guide me. Condensing one's innate energy to fire a sword tip from one's fingers. How wonderful it is that the finger of flowery swords of the Maqing sect can perform such a miraculous feat even at the ninth layer of the acquired realm. Limitless unpolarization force. Fades away. Limitless unpolarization force. I had heard from Chanwu that this defensive method is one of the moves of the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god. It can use all the force borrowed from an attack as a dissipation force and use it to neutralize the attack. I didn't expect that even a power as cohesive as the finger of flowery swords could be dispelled by it. With a defensive method no less powerful than divine impact of Zen, and of the same level, I'm afraid this will be a long-lasting battle. Although I can use the finger of nirvana to recover my state, it will deplete origin points after all, so I should use it sparingly if possible. Let me exchange blows with him up close and personal for now. Seven autumns of the Big Dipper, dub he. Divine impact of Zen. Reflect. This move, which is similar to the Heavenly Guard, but not the same as it, and can generate a repulsive force, is very interesting. I've never seen anyone else from the Maqing sect use this technique. Branch Master Xia. Could this be a unique technique that was developed by being improved upon by you? That's right, let alone the Maqing sect. Even if one were to scour the entire Han Empire, I would dare say that I, Xie Yin, am the first one able to use the divine impact of Zen. 
Although the Heavenly Guard is only an acquired realm technique, Branch Master Sia's ability to improve it proves that your distinguished self is truly an extraordinary prodigy. Brother Yuntao isn't bad either, if it wasn't for the divine impact of Zen's defensive capability, which far exceeds that of the Heavenly Guard, I'm afraid I would have been finished just now. Branch Master Sia, please guide me once more. Seven Autumns of the Big Dipper. Five Fold Deadly Strike. Of all Cade. Oh, how brilliant! The Tai Xian Sex Sevenfold Deadly Strike of Alcade can instantly deliver a palm strike with sevenfold the power, and this Ji Yun Tao can already perform a fivefold deadly strike. That whelp, Xie Yin, is good too. His defensive martial art can actually move according to his will and withstand two of those multipliers. Old Chao, who do you think will win between them? Even though Xie Yin of the Marching Sect is an individual of outstanding ability, his experience in fighting others is lacking so I believe Ji Yun Tao of the Tai Xian sect has the upper hand. Old Chao and I hold similar views, so it looks like that whelp, Xie Yin, will lose. For what it's worth, Branch Master Xie is the most specially gifted prodigy of his generation of the Marching sect. At such a young age, he's already reached the ninth layer of the acquired realm. He's also the husband of the magical dignified reality, Qin Shinsi, and soon after he joined her sect, he climbed through the ranks to become a Branch Master, how could he lose in such few and typical moves? Furthermore, Lord Chao only said that young Lord Yuntao has the upper hand, so don't brag about. It is as if you've already won, great boss Xin. Xie Yin, you have to put your back into it. Don't let Ji Yuntao beat you no matter what. That bastard, Ji Yuntao, has made a lot of progress in his martial arts. I hope the branch master will be alright. Brother Yuntao, don't just get on someone else's boat as you please. Come back here. As expected of you, Brother Yun Tao, and here I thought I'd be able to get you to fall into the water for some wet look fun. Your move barely missed me, Branch Master Xie, so I'll have to use my full strength next. It's getting late, it's time for us to decide the outcome of this battle. True Heavenly Mantra of the Primordial God At long last, Ji Yun Tao's true Heavenly Mantra of the Primordial God. But the present me, is no longer daunted by your spiritual awe. Wait, Chinger, come back here. Eat my head, but Brother Yun Tao, you really don't want to suffer the slightest loss. I destroyed your boat, so you had to destroy mine. Chinger, all she needed to do was help me counteract the spiritual intimidation, but she just had to stubbornly go up against it. Now she's gone and perished with it. It's a good thing she's more or less immortal. It's impolite not to reciprocate what one receives. And I also wanted to see the meaning of the word wet look that came out from Branch Master Sia's mouth. I thought that the unusual and nefarious spiritual being he's cultivating could be suppressed by the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god. I never imagined that it could actually defeat my spiritual manifestation. It's really remarkable. Just because you couldn't think of it doesn't mean I can't do it. I'm going to give it my all next, Brother Yun Tao you should beware. Ji Yun Tao is really something. It looks like he's going to use his ultimate move. Wait and see. Apparently, Xie Yin has really mastered the Finger of Flowery Swords killing move. I'm actually rather looking forward to it. Finger of Flowery Swords, Withering of the Hundred Flowers. Seven Autumns of the Big Dipper, Fivefold Glittering Sword Tip. Who won? I can't tell for sure. Surname Jin, couldn't you have helped us clear our field of sight while you were at it? Why should I help you, you're full of shit. Who won, who won? I can't tell for sure. According to the information we've recently gathered from some sources about Branch Master Xie, I'm afraid Elder Marshal Brother G is in trouble. He doesn't have a fingering technique that can heal injuries and restore innate energy as the one Branch Master Xie is rumored to possess. The gentle dignified prince is in trouble? But Daoyun, looking at your expression, you don't seem to be even the slightest bit concerned about it. It's because I've come to a sudden realization. I had been plotting with Elder Marshal Brother G for a good while, so I thought we were determined to succeed but we never expected that someone as out of the ordinary as Branch Master Sia would come out of nowhere and crush our plans one after another. The world is unpredictable, just like this great river before our eyes. Mortal life in this world is like riding through raging and terrifying waves. Only by using our heart as a boat can we not lose sight of our true spirit. So that's how it is, I understand now. As expected of the Buddhist Xinjai's mind scripture of the abyss of worldly woes and innate spirit, regardless of all things in nature, or the outcome of victory or defeat, it always allows one to understand the truth by themselves, enabling a breakthrough. Brother Yuntao is really amazing. 
The withering of the hundred flowers was to no avail on Ji Yun Tao. If I want to win, I'll have to fight a battle of attrition with him and use the finger of Nirvana to restore my energy. Let's keep going. Finger of Nirvana. Branch Master Sia, I should be the one praising your might. Judging from his condition, he seems to have fully recovered his innate energy. What a wondrous fingering technique. Although I still have some trump cards to play, it would be too disgraceful for me to continue this impasse. I concede this battle. Huh? What? Ji Yun Tao, you whelp. How in the world can you admit defeat before the match is over? Are you okay in the head or what? Then I will have to fail to live up to the high expectations given by head boss Jin. We have already lost in strategy and won't be able to excel branch master Sia in martial arts for a while. So why should we invite humiliation by enduring hardship? In fact, I came to Jiannan administrative region mainly to help junior marshal sister Sia capture Yan Jia. The scheme to obtain the cold iron ore was only conceived at the last moment. Thanks to Junior Marshal Sister Sia's continuous support. Branch Master Sia, this battle doesn't relate to my sect. There's no need for you to worry about the Tai Xian sect's elders intervening. The great Tai Xian sect is a follower of righteousness. I've never had such worries. Not to mention, this guy sure meets gains and losses with equanimity. He's so virtuous it's making me feel embarrassed. Branch Master Sia is a broad-minded gentleman. It was me who was being narrow-minded. I and Junior Marshal Sister Sia discussed it earlier. If we won this battle, the Kafong mine would belong to the Buddhist Xinjai. If we lost, we would immediately depart the Jiannan administrative region and never come up with a plan for the cold iron ore again. Now that I have thoroughly lost in all aspects, it's time for us to leave. Junior Marshal Sister Sia, we, Junior Marshal Sister Sia? Don't startle her, the little lass is on her final push towards the innate realm. Let's move further away and leave her in peace by herself. Wait a minute, why now, why here, why is she leveling up all of a sudden? What stupid words you're saying Branch Master Sia, is there a time or place to advance to the innate realm? I'm just frickin' afraid that she'll beat me up after she finishes her advancement. Is this the energy force of an innate realm expert? It's truly impressive. I'm an innate realm expert too, why don't you praise my awesomeness? How unbearable, I can't breathe. I feel like I've been thrown deep underwater, I can't move. The innate energy and its force that dissipates when an acquired realm practitioner makes his final push to the innate realm is beneficial for those who haven't yet reached it. So relax everyone. What the heck is up with this Sia Daoyun? They say people go into seed mode when they're in the heat of battle. But this is the first time I've seen someone do so when they're only spectating. Innate realm first layer. Her innate energy has subsided. She has reached the innate realm. Daoyun is really a cultivation genius with penetrating insight. Congratulations to Junior Marshal Sister Sia on her advancement to the innate realm. You overpraise me, Senior. I would like to express my gratitude to Elder Marshal Brother Ji for accompanying me on my journey through the world of mortals, and allowing me a chance to attain enlightenment. Out of the five beauties and four princes, Lady Sia must be the first one to have advanced to the innate realm. Congratulations. You're all too kind. I only regret that I'm not a man. Otherwise I'd definitely snatch you and take you back as my wife, you naughty wench. Thank you very much, head boss Jin, for your appreciation. Congratulations, Elder Marshal Sister Sia. At the otherworldly innate realm, Elder Marshal Sister Sia is now able to roam through the skies above, while those of us at the acquired realm have to continue rolling about in this mire. It's truly enviable. The difference between the innate and acquired realms is like the difference between immortal and mortal. When Elder Marshal Sister Sia returns to the Buddhist Xinjai, you should be able to become an elder, isn't that so? Although Ji Yuntao has already withdrawn from the competition for the mines on behalf of Sia Daoyun, heaven knows if this girl's ambition won't be rekindled after her level up, so it's best to dissuade her with words. You bestow me with undue praise. Branch Master Sia, I'm only a newcomer to the innate realm, please rest assured. Branch Master Sia, Elder Marshal Brother Ji has already fulfilled his promise, and I won't go back on his word. After all, no matter how precious cold or iron is, it is merely a worldly possession, so I don't care about it at all. Since Branch Master Sia wants it and Elder Marshal Brother G has already renounced, then I'll just withdraw as well. My humble self admires Elder Marshal Sister Sia for her magnanimity. Senior Chow, Elder Marshal Brother G and I were originally outsiders, and since the fight for the mining share is over, we'll take our leave now. There are still a few loose ends in the Jiannan meeting, so I won't keep you. What's the hurry? Isn't it a bit too disrespectful to me that you're leaving when I've just arrived? The magical dignified beauty, Jin Shinsi? 
soaring through the skies, another innate realm expert. This entrance feels awfully familiar. Its vibe is similar to Branch Master Siez, as expected of a married couple. Fiends, they're both fiends. This one's really hot, I like her too. Treading on the sky as on plain ground, the magical dignified beauty must have ascended to the innate realm for at least a month now. I don't like what Junior's sister Dalian said to my husband just now. Those mines were obviously earned by my husband through arduous combat, so why does it sound like Junior's sister Dalian gave it to the Moching sect as charity? Ji Yuntao from Tai Xian sect greets Elder Marshal Sister Qin. Elder Marshal Sister Qin seems to have misunderstood. Junior Marshal Sister Xia didn't mean it in that sense. Ji Yuntao, I'm talking to Junior Sister Dalian. Junior Sister Dalian, since we're both innate realm practitioners, why don't we play according to the rules of the Jiangnan meeting and have a little match? Elder Marshal Sister Qin has really misunderstood. As Elder Marshal Brother Ji said, I didn't mean it in such a way. It's useless to say any more. Are you going to do it or not? Give me a clear answer. Fight, fight. Unlike Elder Marshal Sister Qin, who has ascended to the innate realm for many days now and has had time to stabilize her spirit, I'm just a newcomer. If it were just an ordinary battle, there would be nothing much to it. But if I engage in a hand-to-hand -hand combat with Elder Marshal Sister Qin, I'm afraid that my realm may be in danger of dropping. Therefore, I choose not to fight. You're being so noble and benevolent and even dare to say whatever you like. Let's leave it at that, just leave. Thank you for being so sensible, Elder Marshal Sister. Gentlemen, we'll take our leave. What are you still staring at? Are you that reluctant to part with them? In my eyes, expect for you, my lady, there's no room to accommodate anyone else. I thought I was on an equal footing with her when I ascended to the ninth layer, but I never expected that this girl would reach the innate realm in the blink of an eye. Does she enjoy riding on top that much? Cut your whining and finish the Jiangnan meeting. I want to go back to Shishan to play Mahjong. Don't be hasty. Xufeng's quota has been set, but the ones for the rest of the mining sites in the Jiangnan administrative region haven't. What's there to decide? They should be jumping for joy that I don't rob theirs. Could it be that they dare to steal mine? Don't forget, head boss Shen, the magical dignified beauty of the Moching sect is here today, and she's also an innate realm practitioner so she may not necessarily have no interest in the minds other than those in Sufin. Oh? The marching sect prizes harmony, so if other people don't drop in to provoke us of their own accord, we'll very rarely take the initiative to cause trouble. Besides, this matter hinges on what my husband desires. My husband has the final say on anything related to Tsufin. I was only sent here by the matriarch to assist him. We're satisfied with the slice of Tsufin we've received. As for mining sites elsewhere, the Mo Ching sect has no interest in them for the time being. Branch Master Xie is wise. Branch Master Xie and his wife have a deep consciousness of righteousness. Branch Master Xie, you'll be my sworn elder brother from now on. For the time being? What nice speech craft. Since the Moching sect has no intention of competing for the mines, and the three clan leaders seem to want to maintain the status quo, the agenda regarding the mining site quotas will now come to an end. Next, we need to discuss how to punish the local Tsufing factions for using fake or to fool the imperial court. You're really a slowpoke, old man Chow, though I like the imperial court's attitude of agreeing on things without being dictatorial. Those four guys from Tsufing had some friendship with the old boss of the Great River Alliance, so please do me a favor, old man Chow, and spare their lives. It'll be enough to take some of their wealth and possessions as punishment, and I'll pay for their mining tax on their behalf. Oh, is that the case? It's surprising that it took this long. I didn't expect Lord Chow to talk so much. Those four old foxes of Tsufeng haven't a damn thing to do with the old boss of the Great River Alliance. Xinjin is purely thinking of trying to keep them around to make me feel nauseous. But it's no bother. I've long had a plan in mind on how to deal with them, guaranteed to make Xinjin end up worse off after trying to gain an advantage. By the way, my dear wife, what brings you to Tsufeng without any apparent reason? Actually, the matriarch knows about everything that's been happening in Tsufeng like the palm of her own hand, including your ascension to the ninth layer of the acquired realm, which out everyone, she had always felt awfully assured with you previously, knowing that you could settle these matters, so she didn't show any concern about it. However, there were too many variables for the last Jiangnan meeting. On top of that, the sex interests were at stake, hence I was ordered to come immediately as support after I had broken through to the innate realm. But now, it seems my arrival was hardly necessary. Nothing of the sort. I think you came at just the right time, my lady. I still haven't congratulated you on your ascension to the innate realm. 
I'm afraid I deserve half the credit for this achievement, no? Oh, yes, I'll be depending on my dear husband's diligent, hard work to reach the heavenly realm in the future. A few days later, city of Tsufan. My lady, you're back. Did the Jiannan meeting go smoothly? Have you brought any local souvenirs back? Yuru, I'm literally standing right in front of you, and you don't even say hi. Humph, and what exactly is so nice about you? You, 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 my lady, he, he, he's scaring me. My dear, you're considered an expert now, don't scare you, Rue, this poor servant girl. I was just kidding. My lady, I've been toiling back and forth for a long while now, so I'll head to my room and have a good rest. Have Chan Wu and Yenna show you around the branch. I've been having this feeling, my dear, that you're running away from something. I'll take you, are you, to tidy up my room, and come back later for a nice little chat with you. Finally, the dust has settled. Though that Qin Shinsi is difficult to deal with, she's very handy indeed. Miss Matriarch is really a true friend of mine, for sending me this all-purpose brick in such a timely fashion. Is elder sister Qin your lawfully wedded wife? Why haven't you had me serve her yet? If we are to get along well in the many years to come, we'll have to get to know each other. No matter how much you burn your fingers, you just don't learn your lesson. Even if an innate realm expert in this world can't see ghosts, the discharge of innate energy can still hurt you, if not for the finger of nirvana, you'd have to spend a lot of time in my forehead slowly reviving. From now on, when you see an innate realm expert, remember to stay away from them, you've died twice already, once by Xie Daoyun and once by Ji Yun Tao. I don't want you to die at the hands of Qin Xin Si too. Hey hey, why are you still so cheerful, Qing Er? I'm scolding you. Because my lord knows that I'm not going to really die, and yet urges me to be so cautious which shows that my lord really, really, really loves me very much. Yay, I'm so happy. Even though I found out you learned a technique to control ghosts from some Linone source, I still believed it was just some wildly disordered illusory spiritual beings. But judging from your self-talk, my dear, you must have brought up a lovely little female ghost, no? Why else would you be so gentle? No wonder, on the way back to Tsufeng, you kept using the excuse of having to take care of some official business to have me alone on an empty bed so it turns out that you were having a good time with that little female ghost. Is there really a ghost in this room? My dear wife, why don't you properly come through the door instead of climbing through the window to eavesdrop? The lawfully wedded missus is here. Should I go hide? If I didn't eavesdrop, how would I know that my dear husband got a new ghost and has forgotten about his former woman? Oh, that's right. No need to hide. The lawfully wedded missus can hear or see me. This place is most abundant with in energy and there vaguely appears to be a substance here, is it the little female ghost? It's a shame that my martial arts aren't perfect yet, as I can't see the appearance of this ghostly damsel my dear husband has been keeping hidden. Wow, she's quite a beauty, charming and seductive, she resembles a bewitching ghost more than myself, and she's so close to me that I can't hold on any longer. You're really a good for nothing. What about your dignity as a bewitching ghost, Chinger? From what my dear said before, this little female ghost is called Chinger. Chinger, can you hear me? As long as you're a good girl, I don't mind if you stay by my husband's side. I don't really care how unfaithful he is. The lawfully wedded missus is showing off her full cleavage pose, that pouting, teasing and provocative expression. Wow. Just keep being the way you are, not in a million 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 years ever follow her example. But she completely fits my ultimate fantasy of a bewitching ghost, my lord, I want to. No, you don't want to. Since I'm so generous, shouldn't you obediently keep me company for practice now? My dear husband? My dear. Huh. My lady, can't you be a little bit more reserved? There are people and ghosts watching. My lady, I'm still here. Don't pretend I don't exist. The lawfully wedded missus is really amazing. A moment later. I wonder how things are going in there. Did the lady and Xia Yen finish their meal yet? Wah, I wanted to study it properly. It's not over yet? Incredible, by the sound of their movement, the lawfully wedded missus is on top. The next day. You all roughly know the current state of affairs. The matriarch's direct disciple, Qin Shinsi, has been appointed as the new fourth elder, and will be based in Sufeng from now on. I'll be assisting the branch master in managing the branch. So let's get along well, everyone. Elder Marshal Sister Qin has the power of an innate realm expert, so your presence here has literally doubled our strength. I'm glad Elder Marshal Sister Chin's here, because from now on, if Branch Master Xia can't keep things under control, you'll be able to help us out of a predicament. What do you mean, if I can't keep things under control? Is that how you kiss someone's ass? 
You really suck at this. Now that the gossip is over, let's start today's business. Right. Let them in. We've heard that the Quining Pavilion, which is officially recognized by the Han, has added Branch Master Xia to the Five Beauties and Four Princes. Five Beauties and Five Princes will tread the martial arts world from now on. It's truly wonderful indeed. Even the title that has been drawn up Xia Yan, the Magical Dignified Prince is a match made in heaven with the Magical Dignified Beauty. What bloody title? Magical Kanjak? Isn't that the same as Qin Shinsi's? Why do you look so unhappy, my dear? Could it be that you're dissatisfied with your title? How could I be? I'm overjoyed to have been able to become a match made in heaven with you, my lady. What's there to be glad about with two pieces of konjac? I'm not as soft and bouncy as this Chin Chinsi. Sure, Yenner, what are you doing? I have something to ask them. You were the ones who told me that Ji Yuntao wanted me to betray my sect, so as to remove Branch Master Xia from his position. Let me ask you again, is that really what he wanted? Well, you'd better think carefully before you answer, don't you dare dupe me. I'll talk, I'll talk. It was because we lost all tact that we came up with such a foolish plot to deceive Miss Yenner by using his name. Sure Yenner was actually involved in such a thing. No wonder her attitude changed so much after going out the other day. It turns out that her image of her idol crumbled. So I really wasn't wrong before. Ji Yuntao is indeed the cultured and refined gentleman I imagined he was. What's there to like about that hypocrite? Our branch master is so smart and amazingly powerful. Isn't he a hundred times better than him? Who said I still like him? I just wanted to prove to myself that I was originally right. That's what's important. Otherwise, wouldn't I have been a complete fool from beginning until end? What's more, the branch master belongs to Elder Marshal's sister Chin. Don't talk drivel right in front of her. Oh crap, Elder Marshal's sister, it was a slip of the tongue, just an accidental slip. Yenner is such a good girl, but Chan Wu, on the other hand, shouldn't forget to clean the toilet for a month. I want to apologize to you, branch master. I shouldn't have been prejudiced against you because of past events. The branch master is indeed a hero among men. From now on, I'll be at your disposal no matter what. That's excellent then. We had some misunderstandings with branch master Xia because of our relationship with Ji Yuntao, but we're now deeply aware of our mistakes, so we've specially come here to make amends with branch master Xia. Yes, 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 we've given up on almost our entire wealth, and our cargo wagons parked outside the branch are nearly blocking the road. Branch master Xia, this money and goods will definitely offset the losses we've caused to the marching sect, and we've even added far more than ten times that amount, such is our sincerity. Only this? Branch Master Xia, please don't make things difficult for us. What we're giving this time is even more than what we paid to the Imperial Court as punishment. If we give any more, we really won't have anything left. Besides, we're not the masterminds behind this. Ji Yuntao is the one who's the marching sect's foe. It would be rather ungracious for a grand sect like the Maching sect to make life difficult for a minor power like us. Yun Tao is a forthright and candid man, since when does he have animosity against my sect? I don't want whatever money or goods you have. What I do want is for you to join my sect voluntarily. Will you consider it? Branch Master Xie, for what it's worth, we're still a local power. You want us to join your sect voluntarily. How could that be allowed? Your proposal is totally unacceptable. Not to mention us. Even the imperial court won't allow you to do such a thing. That's right, that's right. The imperial court won't sit back and watch any one party dominant. We've already been subdued by branch master Xie, so there's basically no difference whether we join or not, and we can serve as a safeguard for the marching sect, so as to save it from any trouble with the imperial court. That sounds somewhat reasonable. Indeed, indeed, it's good that you understand branch master Xie. However, I don't need to reason with the likes of you. Do you really think you're worthy of haggling with a marching sect without any thought for what you are? I'm not some demon though. So if you hand over all of your territory and contacts in Xufeng, I won't look any further into your backstabbing, little plots, and even allow you some unimportant official posts. If you continue to be stubborn, I'll kill you and pick a few of your subordinates who'll do as they're told. In any case, as far as I'm concerned, who I'll be using is just a matter of who's more handy. Branch Master Sia. You're so imperious that you aren't afraid that the imperial court will investigate this afterwards. We've exhausted our savings, and the compensation we've offered is more than enough to buy half of Tsufing. Don't be so overbearing. Oh, so what if I am? Don't threaten me with the imperial court. So what if they have a problem with it? Will they dispatch their men to encircle and annihilate the marching sect because of you? 
or will they ruthlessly punish us? Stop dreaming in broad daylight. Even if the imperial court does come, you won't get to see it because you'll already be dead. My patience runs thin, it has already been extrajudicial of me to have granted you the mercy of giving you this long. If you really annoy me, the marching sect has its ways of making your lives worse than death. Think very carefully before you speak. We are willing to join the marching sect. That's smart on your feet. You've pushed us too far. I'll let you be pleased with yourself for the time being. We'll contact the Great River Alliance after we leave. Jinjiner doesn't want to see Tsufing unified in the slightest, so she'll help us rival the Moqing sect. This punk surnamed Sia is still too young. You think we won't turn coat with a mere verbal promise. Naive. Life has its ups and downs. Just you wait and see. Branch Master Sia, now that the matter is settled, we'll go back and make preparations. After all, joining the Moqing sect is a major event. We need to inform our men and get our assets in order. If there are no other arrangements, we'll excuse ourselves. We bid you farewell. Don't be in such a hurry when I left to take over the branch. I brought along some of the M.O. Ching sex specialties. I didn't think I'd have a chance to give them away. But you guys are just in luck. It just so happens there's one for each of you. Help yourselves. Branch Master Sia, what is this? It's a specialty of the Moqing sect, Thrycine Nether Cold Pill. It's specially used to control people like you who harbor evil intentions. After taking it, you must take the antidote once a year. Otherwise the poison will gradually freeze your body, and eventually thoroughly turn it into an ice sculpture that will shatter upon touch, leaving you dead without an intact corpse. That's not necessary. Branch Master Sia, we're just nobodies. You can easily crush us even if we have a change of heart, so why waste precious pills? Since we've made a promise to you, Branch Master Sia, how can we go back on it? So reluctant to swallow them? You're still thinking thoughts you shouldn't be thinking. Let me guess. Currently, only the Great River Alliance can rival the Moqing sect. Were you going to pay them a visit to seek support in avenging you after you'd left? After all, apart from the Imperial Court, Jinjiner is the only one who doesn't want the Moqing sect to take over Tsufeng as a whole. Branch Master Sia, you really know how to joke. How could we dare? Then swallow them, or do you choose death now? The origin points stemming from these guys' negative emotions haven't ceased since the very beginning. How pitiful indeed. Even their hatred can become an aid for me. I wonder if they'd snap if they found out the truth? I'll take it right now. I'll swallow it. I can't even use my strength. Could it be that my martial arts have been affected too? Cold. The top of my skull is frozen stiff. My whole body is cold. My energy and blood is freezing. It's really deadly poison. It would have been nice if you had been a little more sensible earlier. I even had to waste my poison pills. Chan Wu, you have full authority on how to handle the rest. Don't let them play any tricks. Yes. I'd expect nothing less from the branch master. He's so ruthless and devious. I really idolize him to the core. If I were a woman, I'd have probably been so swept off my feet that I'd have thrown myself into his arms of my own volition. Yenner, take them back to prepare for the merger and keep a close eye on them. Let's go, we're one big family from now on, and according to order of entry, I should call you Junior Marshal Sister Hao and Junior Marshal Brother Fang. Now that we've taken care of those guys, Xiu Feng will fall completely under the control of our sect. My dear, how come I didn't know we had this kind of poison pill in the Moqing sect? Tell me the truth, you mustn't lie to me. What poison pill? I was just bluffing. After a year or so, we'll have all their territory and connections and they'll be useless. You're so thorough, my dear. I'm extremely impressed. It was just a small trick. Don't tease me, my lady. If you're so capable, why are you always fobbing me off with excuses and so reluctant to face me? If you have something to say, just say it. What are you clutching China for? Mrs. is so soft and fragrant that I really want to. To take her as a hostage. If you run away, my dear, I'll vent my anger out on this little female ghost. My lady? Hasn't it only been four hours since we got up? If we keep this up, we're going to pile a mountain of business at the branch. Clearly, you're the one who said you were going to have a major, non-stop battle with me first, my dear. Where did all that bravado go? Are you going to raise the white flag now? Or are you saying you can't do it, my dear? It doesn't matter though, I can just do it myself. My lady, right here in the council chamber? In broad daylight? That's a little bit. Too daring, no? The lawfully wedded missus is awesome. I want to learn. Go on, go on. That lump of in energy is in turmoil. The little female ghost seems quite excited. Want to come along? I actually don't mind it. Don't teach bad things to children. 
Shinger, come back. But I want to continue watching. You really do love her dearly, my dear husband. All right, it's time to practice. Maybe in a year or two, I'll have ascended to the second layer of the innate realm. My dear wife, I keep thinking you're treating me as some kind of elixir. My lady, shouldn't you dedicate a little more to help me advance to the innate realm? The next day. Is it almost noon? I practiced so hard yesterday, after fighting vigorously for no less than thirty-eight battles, each in a different battlefield, even an innate realm expert's body will grow somewhat weary. What is this thing? It's a big world out there, and I want to go see it. See Yen? He ran away? No way, I'm going to catch him, bring him back and give him a good beating. I might just as well handcuff him to the bed to save me all the trouble. Elder Marshal's sister Shinsi. Chan Wu, keep an eye on the branch. I'm going out on a trip. Elder Marshal Sister Shinsi, you can't. The backlog of work has been piling up at the branch for days. The rebuilding of the mines and the handover of the surrounding powers are all under the personal control of the branch master. But I can't find him anywhere, so I came looking for you. That punk, Si Yen, deliberately had something in store for me here. Elder Marshal Sister Shinsi, there are several urgent matters that need to be dealt with as soon as possible. All right, all right, take me to the study. Elder Marshal Sister, you've already walked past it. The study is this way. What nice sights and sounds of spring it's better than a dream. My lord, you just left. Don't you have to say a word to the lawfully wedded missus? Didn't I leave a note? What else was there to say? Besides, what I wrote wasn't wrong. It's a huge world out there, and I've been in all kinds of disputes ever since I came to this world, so I basically didn't have time to have a look around. Now it just so happens that I've got some, and it's always beneficial to roam around a bit to build up one's personal experience. If I had stayed in Sufing sooner or later, Chin Shinsi would have squeezed me dry. The finger of Nirvana isn't to be used in such a way. I didn't really run away though. I'm going back to the sect to ask Miss Matriarch for a reward. Miss Matriarch promised to give me a new martial art when I reached the ninth layer of the acquired realm. I'm still somewhat looking forward to it, even after thinking about it so much. Marching sect. Shinsi sent me a letter saying that you ran away from Sufing, so I didn't expect you'd come back. The marching sect is my home, and Sisu is here, so how could I run away? Can't you see that I've missed you, Sisu? We haven't seen each other for so many days. Did you miss me, Sisu? Not really, actually. It's just that it's been so long since I've had a new book worth reading. It's kind of pretty boring. Sisu, I'll immediately go spur that venerable stable lad from the famous Autumn Mountain to write some new works. Tell him not to write anything too explicit. I'll make sure it's passionate but not vulgar. It'll be very pure. You did a good job in Sufing this time. Even Wei Rodeo might not have been able to handle it better than you did. I'm very pleased. By the way, didn't Shinsi say you've been bringing up a little ghost girl? Where is she? Let her out for me to have a look. Also, I certainly don't remember teaching you a technique to control ghosts. Shinsi simply didn't believe that story of yours and complained to me about it in the letter she sent me. The sect founder appeared in my dreams and taught it to me, but Chin Shinsi wouldn't believe me if I had said that. I made up the excuse that Sisu had taught it, so that she wouldn't continue nagging. The sect founder appeared in your dreams? I'm indeed the only one who'd believe in your nonsense. Stop being so long-winded and bring the little ghost girl out. Come out, Chinger. My lord, I was sleeping soundly. What a lovely little ghost girl. Ordinary innate realm experts can only sense the outline of an energy. But sis you can actually see Chinga with her bare eyes? Since I'm capable of being the matriarch of the Maching sect, I'm certainly not an ordinary innate realm expert, although I can't communicate with spirits and control ghosts like you. I can see spiritual beings without any problem. Sis you, you have seen Chinga, and even touched her, you know, I've won honor for the sect in Sufing this time, so do you think you can? All right, I did indeed say I'd give you a new technique when you ascended to the ninth layer of the acquired realm, so relax. I won't break my promise. I naturally knew you would live up to your promise, Sisu, you're the best. Since you're able to rival Ji Yun Tao, the gentle dignified prince, there should be no one below the innate realm that can be a menace to you. In terms of sheer destructive power, the finger of flowery swords can be ranked in the top ten among the myriad of innate realm techniques. Although the heavenly guard is only an acquired realm technique, you have trained it in such a bizarre manner that its defensive capability doesn't lose out against the top innate realm defensive seeker techniques. You're not lacking in offense and defense. What you do lack now is a means of escape. When you encounter an opponent that can completely suppress you, such as an innate realm expert, 
you will fall into a situation where you can't beat him but can't escape. This book's startling rainbow escape is a lightness technique I especially sought for you. After practicing it, you will be able to spread seven rainbow rays out of your body to run as fast as thunder. When you've fully mastered it, your instantaneous speed will be faster than that of an innate realm expert flying through the sky. It's that amazing? Yes, it's very amazing, but this technique is too extreme, as a single discharge will consume 90% of your innate energy and cause damage to your body. Normal martial arts aren't practiced in such a way. That's why I didn't put it in the Sutra Pavilion for fear of hurting someone. Since you know the finger of Nirvana, you can repeatedly trigger it in times of crisis without fear of injury or expenditure, hence an innate realm expert with even the slightest weakness in his lightness technique won't be able to catch up with you. If you can't beat them just run, I like it. Sis you, I'll be practicing really hard next, so, you know, do you have any other techniques? Do you have any more, sis you? Why do you look so much like a squirrel storing food? Don't you know that you're biting off more than you can chew? I know you think you're exceptionally talented and have no fear. But martial arts aren't something the more of them you practice, the better. Many martial arts skills conflict with each other when they are practiced together. You can save yourself with the finger of nirvana if the meridians in your body suffer a deviation. But you can't save yourself with it if the conflicting technique philosophies cause your realm to destroy itself. Are you willing to stay in the acquired realm for the rest of your life? Not willing. Since you've chosen the finger of flowery swords as your fundamental cultivation method, practice it properly and don't get distracted. When you've ascended to the innate realm and have mastered the finger of flowery swords, then you can consider other martial art cultivation methods. All right, I'll listen to you, sis you. I have the system to help me practice and fuse skills, so nothing bad would probably happen, but unfortunately I can't reveal that secret. I feel like I've been tricked by the matriarch. When did I ever say anything about a fundamental cultivation method? I can do ordinary external martial arts and boxing too. Yeah, my lord, let's go back and ask the matriarch for them. Forget it, I'll practice the startling rainbow escape for now. Why do you want so many cultivation techniques, my lord? You're obviously already very powerful. Because I'm exceptionally gifted and proficient in the art of refinement of tens of thousands of scriptures, so the more martial arts I master, the more powerful I become. I can combine all my martial arts into one, so naturally, the more techniques I have, the better. Here I am. When my lord showed me around during the daytime, he said all the martial arts manuscripts of the Maching sect are in this building. I want to help my lord by sharing his burdens and overcoming his difficulties. Huh, why does it feel like there's something strange about this? It seems like there's some kind of resistance. This is really tough. Oh dear. I put too much strength into it. I have to get ready for work. I can't waste any time. I've come here with a mission. I must help my lord. Wow. There are so many manuscripts that a single ghost basically can't handle them all. I'll call for reinforcements then. Night Walk of the Hundred Ghosts Technique. Let's do it everyone. Let's copy the books together. Huh. You've got a lot of guts, you little ghost girl, to have the impertinence to come here and steal. You're the ghost girl that boy, Xie Yen, has been bringing up, aren't you? You're really quite pretty. Little ghost girl. You have to remember that a great sect like the Maching sect will always have formations to protect their key points. If I hadn't turned off the formation in time, you would have long been destroyed by it when you recklessly ran through it. This won't do. I have to go find that brat, Xie Yin, and say a few words to him. It's an exceedingly rare sight for a ghost to have unlocked its spiritual wisdom. But he ended up bringing it up so poorly. Don't speak ill of my lord. The Mandarin ducks roll underneath the red quilt and the pear blossom tree presses down on the crab apple one. You're the worst, you bad, weird old man. I'm so mad. Who's there? Where did you come from, fiend? Have a taste of my sword. How dare you attack someone like that, you brat? Inheritance elder? It was instinct. It was just an instinctual response. If one suddenly opens their eyes to find an old man staring at them in a sinister and cold way on their bedside, how the hell would one know if it wasn't mounting a sneak attack or a night one? Anyone would have done that subconsciously, right? Ha, if I had mounted a sneak attack, you'd already be dead. However, boy, you've sure made great progress with your finger of flowery swords, as you've already stepped into the withering of the hundred flowers level in such a short period of time. You can tell just by looking at my face that I'm a natural talent at practicing the finger of flowery swords. Wah, my lord, save me. Chinger? This little ghost girl sneaked into the Sutra Pavilion and was slyly engaging in petty deeds. Boy, 
Did you know about this? Such a thing actually happened? Chinger is really not sensible. It's my fault for not educating her properly. Fortunately, the elder was watching, so she didn't make a serious mistake. It's good that the little ghost girl cares about her master. But one just can't violate the taboo. A sex martial arts are its foundation. Even matriarch you can't just impart them without a valid reason. What the sect gives you is yours to keep, but what it doesn't isn't yours to take. I've received your advice. I'll strictly abide by the sect's rules henceforth. Let's leave it at that. You're a wise man, so just a little sermon will do. I purposefully came here, mainly because of your little ghost girl. When I was young, I traveled around the world and found this wordless scripture by chance in an ancient tomb. I couldn't make any sense of it, but according to the records in the tomb at that time, it was a cultivation technique practiced by some kind of ghost cultivator that only inhabitants of the netherworld can comprehend. However, ghost cultivation and what not only exists in legends, so I have been casting it aside. But now that I've seen your little ghost girl, I can't help but want to give her a try. A wordless scripture that only a ghost cultivator can practice. There are actually a lot of spiritual beings in the world, but there are barely any sentient ghosts that can communicate with humans, so I'm quite curious how far this little ghost girl can grow. This word the scripture is something I personally obtained, so it's not like I'm breaking the rules by giving it to her. Alrighty then, I'm getting old and sleepy, so I'll be going now. Remember to keep tabs on your little ghost girl, or else I'll punish you as her master if she does the wrong thing again. Wah, I even got Lord Xia Yen involved. That's okay, it's not your fault. I was the one who didn't warn you of the rules of the sect. I didn't expect that apart from Sisyu, the inheritance elder could also see ghosts. The Maching sect really has some individuals of unusual ability hiding in plain sight. But what kind of ghost cultivation method is this? It's really a word of scripture, not a single letter on it. I can't see any letters on it either. Anyway, you should keep it for now, Chinger. There's no telling what kind of stroke of luck you might need, so take your time. The system isn't responding either. It can't record unintelligible martial arts. I can't understand a thing if it doesn't have a single word on it so I'll try to figure out a way to help Chinga make sense of it later. The startling rainbow escape is indeed worthy of being called a top-notch escape technique, as its intensity and expenditure are both comparable to that of the withering of the hundred flowers. I have a sneaking suspicion that the entry level is just a few days away, so I'll use my origin points to upgrade it to the max level then. My lord is making incredible progress, but I can't even read a single word I'm so useless. If one could make sense of this technique so easily, then ghost cultivation wouldn't only appear in legends. Take your time. There's no rush. I understand. Let's go see the matriarch. Maybe she can help you out. Oh, good, good. Miss Matriarch's grooming is very comfortable. It's really a word of scripture. I can't tell what profound and mysterious theory is behind it either. If even sis you can't see through it, then Chinga really can't learn it. This goes without saying, but there aren't many records of ghost cultivation so it's already a great opportunity for Chinger to have gotten this technique. Just let nature take its course and don't be impatient. Indeed, it's best to just let fate take its course, I suppose. The inheritance Chinger brought back from the world of Tong Ling has yet to be fully fathomed. They are here already? Let's skip the small talk. We have a visitor today. A visitor? What kind of visitor? Xia Yan, hide your little ghost girl. Although I don't know if they can see her or not, since you can hide her, you should do so. Oh, all right. Yu Hong Yan, why are you still hanging around with this stinky brat? Yu Xuanji is about to bring someone. Great elder, long time no see, did you miss me? Yenna wrote to me about what about your conduct and deeds in Sufing, and that's about it, nothing that can be regarded as you humiliating the sect. Xia Yen, you're indeed the only one in my disciple Chang was hard right now. Goodness, how capable you are, men or women anything goes, huh? I really want to express my gratitude to Chan Wu and Yenner for their continuous support. It's because of them that the Tsufing branch is what it is today. What the heck is up with Ji Chan Wu? Don't tell me he's really gay? Save your idle chat, Yu Hong Yen. You better get rid of this kid as soon as possible. The less people that know about this, the better. I'm not planning on making him leave. Xia Yan's mind is very flexible and ingenious. So he can help us by giving advice if he stays as an observer. Exactly so. It seems as if there's some juicy gossip coming? Out of the question, having him stay is absurd. At what time has the M.O. Ching sect ever turned to a junior member for advice? I've never been very fond of using my brain and I'm not as deceitful as you are. Just in case someone digs a trap for me to fall in, Xia Yan can at least help me discern one or two of them by being present. 
You should just take your seats. I won't let Xia Yan go, so there's no need for you to mention this again, great elder. Humph, fine fine, you're the matriarch, so you have the final say. Bai Suyuan of the Blissful Temple, as agreed on, has come to impose upon the hospitality of your sect today. Yu Xuanji and Bai Suyuan? Why are the two of them together? No, what's Bai Suyuan doing in the marching sect? Is this the newly appointed member of the Five Beauties and Five Princes, Xia Yan, the magical dignified prince? He's also here. Naturally, it's the matriarch's intention for Xia Yan to stay here, so you can just pretend he doesn't exist. Bai Suyuan, he won't divulge your secret. Forgive me for my rudeness. I have been exchanging letters with your esteemed sect for many days and have ventured personally to come here today to request a definite answer. Have you come to a decision, matriarch you? Xia Yan doesn't know the whole story yet, so tell it from the beginning. It seems that the rumors are true, the person Yu Hong Yan relies on most is Xia Yan. I'll start from the beginning then, it all started with the former great elder of the Blissful Temple, Lu Qin Mei, many years ago. Lu Qin Mei failed in her fight over the position of high priestess with the former high priestess Dang Hongqin, and soon after, she left the sect, without anyone knowing where she went. Dang Hongqin thought so highly of herself that she attacked the marching sect, but suffered tremendous losses, and several elders of the sect perished. I managed with great difficulty to stabilize the situation and was about to close the monastery and order my disciples to practice and build up strength. Yet Lu Qin Mei returned at that moment. She claimed to have received a call for help from the sect, and came back especially to preside over the general state of affairs. Moreover, she showed an extremely strong desire to rise to a higher position. By way of seniority, she's Dang Hongqin's elder martial sister, and I'm no match for her in terms of martial arts or cultivation base. If she wants to be high priestess, I fundamentally have no reason to object. However, I have led the blissful temple through its most challenging circumstances and all disciples in the temple believe in me. On the other hand, Lu Qing Mei left many years ago, and now, except for the older generation, not many people recognize her. Because of this, Lu Qing Mei is utterly wary of me, even if I surrender to her of my own accord, she will only use me to stabilize the morale of the troops, and once she is in power, I'll be a stumbling block to her authority, and she will surely kill me. I have come here to safeguard myself and to prevent the blissful temple from going astray. I'm requesting help from the marching sect. To kill Lu Qi Mei. I'm not even going to mention where you got this call from. But ever since the blissful temple attacked the marching sect, our sects have formed a feud against each other. Where in the world does it make sense to help our foes? You mentioned in your letter that the Xinhua sect is supporting Lu Qi Mei, which is indeed a major demonic sect that has long been at the top of the ranks. You may not be afraid of getting beaten to a pulp, but I'm afraid of not getting any advantage and inviting trouble instead. Indeed, in these years Lu Qing Mei has been away from the sect, she has hooked up with Gu Yi, the deputy sect master of the Xinhua sect, and on this occasion, has returned with the thousand-faced prince of the Xinhua sect, she is always outspoken about her affair with Gu Yi in front of the disciples. As to why I sought the marching sect? Lu Qing Mei has deep malice towards the marching sect, and in order to win people's hearts, she's been preaching that she would continue to target the marching sect and prepare to exact revenge so as to settle the score. I originally didn't agree with Dang Hongqin when she proposed to attack the marching sect, but she still held out on me and committed a mistake. If Lu Qin Mei, whose conduct is similar to Dang Hongqin's, comes into the equation as well, will the Blissful Temple be fine? Let's put aside the feud between the Blissful Temple and the marching sect. Xuanji and I had a deep friendship in Jiangling in the past. With Xuanji here, I can greatly set my mind at ease with the marching sect. You and I only had a pull-your-hair-and-scratch-your-face relationship so stop trying to worm your way into being friends with me. Getting back to the main point, once Lu Qin Mei is in power, she'll definitely join forces with Ji Yi to attack the Mo Qing sect. As long as you protect me and kill her, we can immediately put an end to these hostilities imperceptibly, and I'll do my best to resolve the feud between our two sects and forge an alliance with the Maqing sect in mutual defense aid. This is a win-win deal. What's there not to like about it? You can set your mind at ease with the Maqing sect, but we certainly can't set our minds at ease with you. The relationship between the Blissful Temple and the Maqing sect is one of enmity. There's absolutely no basis for trust. What would we do if you've teamed up with Lu Qing Mei and want to attack the Mo Qing sect again by engaging in the scheme of injuring yourself to gain our confidence? Even if what you said is true, how can we be sure you won't go back on your word once you've secured your position as High Priestess? Hall Master Bai, everyone knows how to use their mouth, but it won't do without any sincerity. Xia Yan is right. 
Even if our sect helps you, we have no guarantees other than your verbal promise. That's certainly not a good situation to be in. I'd like to make you a promise worth thousands of gold and silver, but the situation in the blissful temple being the way it is, I'm powerless to even defend myself. Pretending to look more formidable than one is by making blind promises would be of no use other than arousing your displeasure. I'd rather be magnanimous and treat you with sincerity. If the marching sect is ultimately unwilling to lend their assistance, I'll do my utmost to find it within my soul that I have no choice but to leave everything behind, escape from the blissful temple and become a wanderer upon the world of cultivation. This is the worst thing about the people from the blissful temple. Even when they are in such a desperate situation, they can still be at peace with themselves. And with no origin points coming from them, I can't judge if their intentions are good or not. Hall Master Bai, we actually do trust you, but as you know, that trust is too fragile in light of the relationship between our two sections. Xie Yen, you stinky brat, when did I ever say I trust her? Bai Suyuan, no matter how nicely you say it, it's useless. I have a mysterious yin bone eroding pill here. After taking it, you must take the antidote every seven days, or your intestines will rupture, your belly will rot, and you will die. Only I can make the antidote. As long as you agree to take this poison pill, I'll believe your words. Is that what you intend as well, matriarch you? I'll swallow it. Wait a moment. I don't think that's very appropriate. Miss Matriarch, are you stupid or what? If I sue you and is sincere about wanting our help, even if she'll be completely under control after this, the one who she'll be taking orders from is Wu Ling Xian, not you. Great Elder, your poison is excessively potent. She must take the antidote once every seven days. What if something untoward happens during that period, causing Hall Master Bai to be unable to meet the Great Elder in time to get the antidote? Wouldn't that be too tragic? Even if a lot of antidotes were prepared in advance, if by any chance Hall Master Bai gets locked up or trapped somewhere and can't get out for a year or so, such an amount of antidotes won't be enough. Then what do you suggest we do? Great Elder, you're not actually going to prepare one to two years worth of antidote for Hall Master Bai, are you? I'm always skeptical of the integrity, sincerity, or motives of others. Given such an ample amount of time, Hall Master Bai might be able to find someone to uncover your antidote. It wouldn't do Hall Master Bai any harm to listen to my proposal. Feel free to speak your mind, as long as I can manage it, I'll surely do as instructed. Our matriarch once ran across a fortuitous encounter and acquired an unorthodox skill called Ultimate Elysian Bliss Technique. Once this martial art is practiced, one whose level is higher can completely control one whose level is lower. In the event one has the intention of revolting, the one with the greater proficiency in the technique can order the one whose proficiency is least to self-detonate. And its formidable power can even blow up an expert three minor realms higher than oneself. Since Hall Master by trusts the marching sect, the marching sect will reciprocate that same trust accordingly as long as Hall Master Bai puts her life in the hands of our sect. In the worst-case scenario, Hall Master Bai can use this opportunity to perish together with Lu Qingmei, and the marching sect will be able to set aside the enmity between our two sects after this ordeal, thus truly bringing safety to the blissful temple. Hall Master Bai, what do you think? I can agree to this. You can agree to it like this. But I can't just fucking give out the ultimate demonic bliss technique. Wouldn't that be like serving a meal to the Shui Lu? Miss Matriarch, have you still not understood my intention? If you have the means, use it quickly. I can't keep making things up much longer. But let me arrange for a successor. If I really do perish with Lu Qi Mei, the blissful temple will need a qualified leader. All right, Xie Yin. Stop scaring Hall Master Bai. What he just said was only a test for Hall Master Bai. Hall Master Bai has shown such self-sacrifice. I think everyone here must approve of you. But although you've passed the test... We still need some manner of enforcing obedience. Miss Matriarch has finally noticed. Inside this case is a male and female pair of spiraling hornless dragon poisonous parasites, which have been secretly handed down through the generations. After one takes the male, they'll be under the control of the one who possesses the female. It won't take your life, but if you gain the intention of revolting, you'll suffer fate worse than death nevertheless. Since you're not even afraid of being blown up, you'll surely not oppose taking this parasite. Of course, if I don't have to perish together with her, I'll. You've got the wrong one. The small one is the female. The big one is the male. Bai Suyuan, even you have your day. You people from the blissful temple can really swallow that thing with a straight face. In this way, do you feel sufficiently at ease? I feel at ease, Bai Suyuan. You're really resolute and decisive. Hall Master Bai, I have another question I would like to ask you. 
for better or worse, you're the acting high priestess of the blissful temple, and a powerhouse at the innate realm, so why are you willing to be under the control of others when you could have obviously chosen to escape to some faraway place? Moreover, how can you be so sure that Lu Qing Mei will kill you? What if she doesn't? You didn't compete with her for the position from the start. Once she takes the seat as high priestess, why would she kill you? Wouldn't that be like shooting her own foot? Young Lord Xie, you don't realize the kind of woman Lu Qing Mei is. Lu Qing Mei is narrow-minded and has always been vengeful. In those years, I played a role in helping Dang Hongqin rise to the position of high priestess. The elders and the matriarchs should have heard that I've had a long-standing score with her. Although she hid her emotions very deeply when she returned, I could feel her murderous intent towards me. If we cooperate with you, we'll ultimately only end up making the blissful temple a vassal of the marching sect, and I can trust that with matriarch Yu's conduct, she'll never abandon her benefactor upon achieving her goal. Naturally, I'll be the high priestess of the blissful temple, but if I don't do anything, only death will befall me, even if I run away to some faraway place. I may not be able to escape from Lu Qingmei's pursuit, not to mention the fact that a life on the run is nothing compared to one of sitting at ease in the blissful temple. Naturally, I'd rather be a vassal than lose my power or my life. Is that so? That seems to make sense. All right, Xie Yen, stop pestering her with all manners of questions. Bai Suyuan is one of us now. Let's get down to business. Suyuan, how do you want us to help you kill Lu Qingmei? Don't even think about telling us to set out in full force towards the blissful temple to surround and kill Lu Qingmei no matter how sweetly you put it, or how we have the great sect formation, I won't go. I don't want to follow the same tracks that led Dang Hongqin to her demise. Innate realm experts have sharp senses and can move about with incredible pace, if there's no special circumstance, even if all of us innate realm experts join forces to attack her from all sides. There's a certain probability that she'll escape with her life. Bai Suyuan, have you considered the consequences if we fail to surround and kill Lu Qingmei? It doesn't really matter to us, but I'm afraid it won't be too encouraging for you. Don't worry, Lu Qingmei will die for sure. I've already chosen a grave site for her, not in the Blissful Temple, but rather in the branch of the Shiri Lu in the city of Datong, the Datong Auction House. You've probably all been there. The Datong Auction House's auction room is made entirely of excellent quality cast cold iron, and after the only entrance is closed, even an innate realm expert would need at least half a stick of incense to break it down by force. This amount of time is enough for us to swarm in and kill Lu Qimei. Holy shit, what kind of martial art is this? Bai Suyuan, it seems that you have made vigorous progress in your heavenly creation method, as you can effortlessly use your innate energy to draw such a fine, vivid and realistic model. It's nothing more than a fragile and fancy trick, completely devoid of usefulness in a real battle. Elder Wu is right, it's just a small trick I use to stave off boredom in my daily life not something you'd want to put on stage. The commander of the Shui Lu in the city of Datong and I are old acquaintances. As long as I can find a chance to lure Lu Qing Mei there, he'll cooperate with me in locking the only way out. Provided we're lying in wait inside in advance, she'll be a sitting duck. That's right, the Datong auction house can indeed be used to trap Lu Qing Mei. Let's follow your plan then. Great and second elder. When the time comes, you two and Suyuan will deal with Lu Qimei together. You have no problem with that, right? No problem. As long as Lu Qimei can't escape, three innate realm experts should be more than enough to kill her. The fourth elder has just recently been appointed. Shouldn't she do something too? I think we should call her up this time. Xinxi is guarding Tsufeng right now, so be it. I'll ask her to join you on this endeavor. Suyuan, since Lu Qimei is wary of you, I'm afraid it won't be so easy for you to lure her into your trap. If nothing can be done, then just give up on this and come be the fifth elder of the marching sect. Thank you very much for your concern, matriarch, but I can always think of a way, though I have another thorny problem on my hands. I've been away from the blissful temple for a few days now, and I'm afraid it may have aroused some suspicion from Lu Qi Mei. If I try to contact you afterwards, even if I use an eagle to send a message, it won't be very safe, so it would be best to have someone to come back with me to the blissful temple, so that we can communicate more easily. It would be best if this person is not too well-known, not too strong, not an excessively conspicuous innate realm expert, but not too weak as to be unable to shoulder the risk, and simultaneously have a way to contact the marching sect at all times. The communication aspect is a real problem. No way, don't pick me. I really don't want to go to that blissful temple shithole. It's too risky and I can't even absorb any origin points there. 
Xie Yan, how about you go? I dare not disobey. Who told me to be Sis Yu's favorite? I'll send Xie Yan back with you to the Blissful Temple. You must take care to help him hide his identity. Don't expose him. Rest assured, matriarch. The magical dignified prince is indeed the best choice. Although he has made a name for himself recently, he's a newcomer to the world of cultivation and the overwhelming majority of people have basically never seen him before. Then this matter comes to an end here. Xie Yan will stay here for the moment. The third elder will take Xiu Yuan to the side chamber to wait for a while, and the rest of you will disperse. Sis Yu, I don't really want to go. Stop moping and sighing, I know this endeavor is dangerous. But if we examine the whole sect, you're the most suitable candidate for the job. If you continue practicing the startling rainbow escape, no innate realm expert will be able to block your path. If something doesn't feel right midway, you can just give up on the assignment and flee. Your personal safety comes first. Where this energy concealment pendant, it was handed down to me by my master the previous sect master and can conceal your spirit. As long as you don't bump into them in person, it'll be very difficult for ordinary innate realm experts to find you. When I was young and weak and was wandering around on foot through the martial arts world, I relied on it to avoid countless calamities. Thank you very much for bestowing me this treasure, sis you. After bidding farewell to Miss Matriarch for a while, I set off with Bai Su Yuan on a journey to the Blissful Temple. Of course, the always prudent and courageous me wouldn't just enter the monastery of the Blissful Temple without the tiniest grasp of the situation. Besides, even if an outstanding man such as myself were to wear a mask, he'd be as dazzling a sight as a lighthouse in the dark. How can I disguise myself? I'll stay outside as backup until the time is ripe. You just don't trust me, but I don't mind. After all, you're one of the five beauties and five princes of the Han Empire, the magical dignified prince. And your signature technique is the finger of flowery swords, so you're bound to expose yourself. It would be best for you to stay outside and keep in touch. In case I have important information and can't extricate myself from my obligations, I'll send a reliable agent to contact you, but we'll need to agree on a secret code that can't easily be guessed by others, so as to avoid being fooled by the Thousand Face Prince in disguise. By the way, since the Thousand Face Prince is known by such a title, could it be that he can impersonate anyone? Every time the Thousand Face Prince changes his identity, not only his appearance, but also his skills will change as well, at first. People thought that he was gifted with remarkable ability, and that he had really become proficient in numerous kinds of martial arts. Gradually, rumors began to spread that what he had actually mastered was a very peculiar technique, the mantra of formlessness. Rumor has it that this technique can instantly duplicate other people's martial arts, and its power is not much weaker than the original, making it very peculiar. Fortunately, the Thousand Face Prince is only at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, so imitating innate realm techniques is beyond his reach. Holy shit, isn't that copycat ability literally Sharingan? I must get this technique when I have the opportunity, so I can troll the shit out of everyone later. But if he doesn't genuinely make a move, it'll be difficult to tell him apart, so we'll need a secret code, I've got one. Each time we meet, we'll meet with our tongues, three times up, four times down, seven times left, eight times right, swirling them together twenty-two times in that order. Please conduct yourself, I'll teach you a secret code. When we run into each other, you'll say, Dalabangba bandabidabijabiluing. That way we won't be fooled by an impersonator. What a tongue twisting secret code. Bai Suyuan really did go to the marching sect for reinforcements, and the one she brought is Xia Yen, the magical dignified prince. No. Although we don't dare to get any closer, so as to avoid entering her innate realm expert alert range. The Shiri Lu has a secret method, which allows one to pry into other people's conversation from a distance. We have already noted down the secret code. Now there's no danger of anything going wrong. A few days later, western suburb of the city of Datong. Come on, I'll rub your head for two hours if you can catch up to me. You're a rascal, Lord Xie Yin. You obviously weren't this fast before. Not bad indeed. The startling rainbow escape is much more flexible after upgrading it over the level cap. I'm now capable of running in more than just an awkward straight line with it. Most importantly... It only cost me 200 origin points, which was really a bargain. With my current amount of innate energy, I can travel nearly at the speed of sound when I trigger it. I really do wonder how fast I'll be after I've ascended to the innate realm. Now that I've mastered the startling rainbow escape, I don't need to fear anything in this world anymore. Come on, let's go back to the city of Datong and wait for news from Bai Suyuan. Lord Xie Yan, does this mean I've caught up with you this time? It does, wait until we get to the inn before I rub you at leisure. 
northern suburb of the city of Datong, Guanying Mountain, Blissful Temple. Lu Qingmei's residence. Xie Yan, the magical dignified prince, distinguished, elegant, and of striking appearance. I've heard that he's a handsome man who's on par with Ji Yuntao, the gentle dignified prince. I would actually like to see if he's really as attractive as the rumors say he is. You just want to take a look, aunt? Esteemed nephew, are you jealous? Don't worry, auntie loves you dearly. Don't be impatient, aunt. We should think about how to deal with Bai Suyuan first. Speaking of the devil, Bai Suyuan has dropped in to visit us of her own accord. Elder Lu, I have something to discuss with you. I hope I'm not interrupting Elder Lil's fine mood by coming unannounced. Why would it? You're a great and meritorious figure of the blissful temple, little Suyuan. Even if I were indulging in someone's solace in bed, I'd still push them aside to come meet you. That won't be necessary, rest assured, Elder Lu. I won't impose on your hospitality in the middle of the night. Let's go back to business. I'm deeply aware that Elder Lu has always regarded the Maqing sect as a mortal malady. Yet you have Dang Hongqin's exemplar laid before you. Most of the innate realm experts in the Blissful Temple perish due to her. Although the Blissful Temple is being aided by the Shima sect, the innate realm experts of the Maqing sect lack for nothing, and won't be easy to handle. If we start a war with them again, I worry that the Blissful Temple will suffer misfortune once again and add one disaster on top of another. With all this back and forth talk, are you trying to persuade me to avoid fighting? Oh, little Suyuan, how come you've become such a coward after all these years of hanging around Dang Hongqin? As for the Shima sect, Gui, as the deputy sect master, is willing to lend me his own son to order as I please, so what are you still dwelling over? I don't mean to sow discord between you and the Shima sect. It's just that if we're really going to start a war, the Blissful Temple simply doesn't have the manpower to put forth such an effort, so we'd have no other choice but to rely on the Shima sect. I'm just unwilling to sit back and reap what I have not sown, so I want to make further preparations without outside help. Heaven 5 The commander of Shui Lu branch in the city of Datong is an old acquaintance of mine. I want to get in touch with the ancestor of bliss of the Shui Lu through him. As long as we can ask that person to act, the innate realm experts of the Maqing sect will surely meet their deaths if they dare to leave their monastery. But that would be too large an undertaking. Even that scoundrel, Heaven 5, wouldn't dare to disturb the ancestor at will. So this requires you, Elder Lu, the real leader of the Blissful Temple, to go into action personally and determine a solution before such can be accomplished. There's some reason in what you say. I'll think about it carefully. You can go now. Little see you in. Then I'll quietly wait for news and ask Elder Lu to trust me. I'm solely devoted to the sect. Heaven Emblem Number 5 of the Shui Lu branch in the city of Datong is an intimate friend of Bai Suyuan, and she regards him as her aide. However, Bai Suyuan doesn't know that Heaven 5 has already told me all her plans right from the very start. Oh, esteemed nephew, what did you do to get that Heaven 5 to betray his own partner? Heaven 5 and I have long been acquainted with each other, and take pride in being mutual best friends. I know well what he cares about most. Isn't women or friendship? But money and goods, whatever Bai Suyuan can give him, I can offer ten times more. I've been vexed on how to deal with Bai Suyuan, but I didn't expect that slut would repay kindness by stabbing us in the back and collude with the Maqing sect. Now that she's given me such a tight hold on her, I'd surely let her down if I didn't use it to my full advantage. Although Bai Suyuan gives no cause for worry, there are still too few people in the sect and can use. If your old man hadn't suddenly gone into seclusion— I wouldn't have fallen into this awkward situation with only you to aid me. It's a good thing that father is able to break through to a higher level, so don't blame him, aunt. According to the information provided by Heaven 5, Bai Suyuan brought back the magical dignified prince to act as a liaison with the Maqing sect, so maybe we can start from there. There's a deep-seated blood feud between the Maqing sect and the Blissful Temple, so if we can kill Xia Yan, it can even be said that there will no longer be any trust between Bai Suyuan and the Maqing sect. I'll leave the planning to you then. Just do one request for me. Don't kill Xia Yan right after you capture him. And he wants to see what he looks like. Then I'll go there personally, lest the men of the Shiri Lu be too ruthless. Go, go. But remember to come back soon. And he doesn't want to spend the night alone in bed. City of Datong, Datong in. What the hell? Why are there assassins of the Shiri Lu wandering around me recently? With the ultimate demonic bliss technique over the level cap, as long as they are within a certain distance, the assassins of the Shui Lu won't be able to hide their presence before me. When I first entered the city, I noticed the assassins secretly spying on me, 
I thought it was quite normal for an assassin organization to monitor new experts in the city, but now it seems that they are obviously targeting me. You gentlemen stirring so vigorously outside the window, what noble errand brings you here to visit me this late at night? The magical dignified prince has good ears. Bai Suyuan of the Blissful Temple entrusted us with the task of bringing you to discuss an important matter. The agreed-upon secret code is, Dala Bengba Banda Bi Dibujo Bilwing. The secret code is correct. The matter is urgent. Come with us quickly, magical dignified prince. Just a moment. Let me put on some clothes. Weird. But it makes no difference to me. It doesn't matter if there's a problem. Because aside from their ancestor, the Shiri Lu is but a meal in front of me. Return to my forehead for now. Please feel free to summon me if you need anything, Lord Xia Yen. Datong Auction House. The magical dignified prince has arrived. Take him downstairs. All right, please come inside. Why is he hiding here of all places? Whatever, it's safer this way. It's almost been three stories down, right? Just where are you taking me? Don't worry, young lord, you'll find out as soon as we get there. Here's the place. Enjoy yourself to the fullest, young lord, this humble servant will excuse himself now. That chick, by Suyuan, isn't really selling me out, is she? She's undoubtedly under the control of the matriarch, so what the heck is she plotting? Someone's spamming me with origin points again, and I don't even know who this dirty pervert is. My reputation in the main world rose sharply after the Jiangan meeting, and I get a bunch of origin points every now and then but it's not often for the span to come from the same person. The magical dignified prince truly deserves his reputation, a handsome man brimming with spirit and of remarkable brilliance indeed. I've been waiting for you for a long time. You know me? Who is this guy? There's no sign on his body of him having practiced the ultimate demonic bliss technique, so apparently he's not an assassin of the Shui Lu. I'm greatly fascinated by the numerous rumors I've heard about the magical dignified prince. It's a shame that you're about to suffer a crushing defeat. One can't avoid but sigh with regret at the fickleness of fate. All of these elite personnel of the Shui Lu are gathered here. The exit is locked and can only be opened from the outside. All your plans are in vain today. Just accept your fate. Can you tell me the reason for my death? What's in it for Bai Su Yuan if the Shui Lu turncoats? Has she really been preaching the scheme of injuring herself to gain our confidence with Lu Qing Mei from the very beginning? Then I'll enlighten you as to the reason for your untimely demise. How can that lowly by Suyuan be placed in the same category as my aunt? Heaven Five is certainly not the kind of man who'd get carried away by a woman, so he'll naturally know what to do if his best friend here reminds him. You're the thousand-faced prince. By Suyuan, you worthless chick. Your hidden trump cards have been exposed right from the start. Smart, but you realize the truth too late. Get him. You're quite the arrogant one, thousand-faced prince but you don't seem to know who you're messing with. Ultimate demonic bliss technique. What's going on? Impossible. This energy force, how does he know the ultimate demonic bliss technique, and how come his proficiency level is even higher than mine? Heaven 5, you must have realized his identity. At first, I wanted to tell you when he came in, but you most probably wouldn't believe me if I didn't let you experience it for yourself. Oh, Heaven 3, you're willing to show up? I saw you were having a lot of fun up there. What are you doing down here? Earth Guardian, I've been hiding from you in the city of Datong. How we still manage to meet each other again must be the ill will of fate. And I ask that you withdraw your energy force. The Thunder Emblem assassins are about to be squashed to death by you. Who is he? Another Sky-class assassin like me. You call him Xitagarba Sky-3? But I've never heard of that name in our sect. It's more complicated than you think Sky-5. Xitagarba is just a code name as for his true identity. All I can say is that he's close with our Elder Joy, and we can't disobey him. Elder Joy. I see. Charming Jade Child has a story with Elder Joy. I lost. Wait, what is he going to do? I didn't see that coming. What's going on, Sky 5? He never came here. How cunning. It's the consciousness control of the Shinma sex mantra of hexatic senses. It can make someone become a puppet for the manipulator to check what's going on through the puppet's senses. Plus Child Thousand Faces' his disguise methods, he can always find a scapegoat to go outside as him. Meanwhile, no one knows where he really is, how troublesome and annoying. He tricked me as well, I'll find him and charge for double later. Child Thousand Faces is your friend, Sky 5. Are you gonna rip him off like that? Even biological brothers have to make the balance clear, not to mention my best friend who embarrassed me. But of course, I'll forgive him as long 
as he pays me well. Oh, what if I offer you an even higher price? Would you cut him loose and help me kill him? Charming Jade Child, Gahuai Yu is my friend. After all, we're really friends. Is that so? Then. It's extra. Oh, really? I was joking. Of course I'll help you with full strength, Ksidagarba. Money is for outsiders. I almost forget that he can blow me up any time. Since he's so cautious, we can't do anything for now, but we'll make him pay sooner or later. It's not easy to kill that guy. After getting caught, he has probably run far away by now. I trust the bloodthirst sex expertise. I'll leave the hunting to you. I'm not familiar with child thousand faces, so you'll lead this operation. Being close with him doesn't change the difficulty of killing him. My head hurts. I didn't know Child Thousand Faces and Sky Five were close. Sky Five had told him everything about Bai Suyuan's plan. Lu Chi Mei should know it too. Bai Suyuan will be in danger in the Bliss Temple. I need to find a way to inform her about this. But Child Thousand Faces has run away. Perhaps it's too late. Origin point gained. Greed. Gahuayu. Gahuayu. Child Thousand Faces. I only get zero, zero one points when the giver is close. Child Thousand Faces should be hiding among them. I find no traces of joyous art of celestial demons. They're not assassins, just some servants. It would be tricky to find him. Charming Jade Child's face is even prettier than the rumors have it. It'll be a waste not to peel it off and make a mask with it, and he has a powerful background. If I can replace him, I'll control more than half of the bloodthirst sect. How tempting. You can't recognize me even if I'm standing right in front of you. Huh. Set me up in the dark and rub it on my nose now. You deserve a lesson. Faceless Mantra. I couldn't be sure that it was you until you dodged that. I got you, Gohuayu, the child thousand faces. Finger of flowery swords, bend at will. Imitation, finger of flowery swords. He copied my finger of flowery swords, but luckily, the imitation isn't as powerful as the real one. What a man, charming jade child. His finger of flowery swords is so powerful that even my imitation couldn't copy its full strength. How did Xia Yan find me? Only Child Thousand Faces' faceless mantra can copy others' martial arts. So he is. Gahuayu? Didn't you run away? That saves us lots of trouble, do it. Don't blame me, bro. I don't have a choice. Ha! Mantra of Hexatic Senses. Illusionary Body. I told you it's not easy to kill him. I used to turn down the quest of killing him. Give me a hand, Sky 3. I'll go to the east, and you'll head to the west. Got it. Humph. Where is he? I knew you were here. Well played, charming jade child. You even know I'm still here. My illusionary body could even fool pre-celestial masters. How did he notice me? It's not that hard. Would you take the chance and try to outrun two pre-celestial masters or staying here to fight me? The answer is obvious. Your origin point came closely. Of course I'd notice you. Smart, but I want to know how you noticed me the first time. I thought my disguise was perfect. I've got my own way. My instinct told me it might be you, so I tried. I don't know what your way is exactly, but I get that. Charming Jade Child. He's no weaker than me. I can't defeat him in a short time, and Sky 5 and Sky May 3rd come back any time. I should leave. You missed a step. Bloody Shift. My bloody shift is as fast as lightning and can move over 30 miles in a short time. I should be fine now. I can't stay here for long. I must leave at once after taking a power-regaining pill and waiting for my internal power to recover. Why did you stop running? Are you exhausted? What step did I miss? You haven't talked things straight with me. Speaking of running, your burst could only help you run without paying attention to anything else. My rainbow shift is much better, but I see your after-effects are lighter than mine. Lose most of your internal power, and that's all? I envy you. Xia Yen, how is this possible? You know how to use a lightness skill like bloody shift. My internal power is drained, but why is he still so lively? The pavilion of elites wouldn't have counted me as one of the five gentlemen if I was weak. You'd better surrender and tell me all about your plan, child thousand faces. That way, I may spare your life and destroy your cultivation base only. You think you will surely win? I have to use that move now. Xia Yen is much tougher to handle than I thought. Guess I have to find a way to restore my power later. Three Realms Gathering since you insist on a fight, let's fight. He's fully recovered? I knew none of the five gentlemen was simple. Try this, charming jade child. Mantra of Hexatic Senses, Six Desires Transformation. 
An enhanced edition of the move that Yen Jia was casting? Seems like a type of spirit that is visible to even ordinary people. Xia Daoyan even broke a similar move when she was at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage. Why would you think it'd work on me? Each sect has different strong suits, and you're not from the Funshin sect. Moves that can't work on her can be effective on you. Impossible. Finger of flowery swords can't damage spirits when it's not pre-celestial. Everything is possible. I didn't go to the Tongling world for nothing. Mantra of hexatic senses, the devil inside. Then take this. Spiritual attack? I'll handle it, Master Xie. I'm the best, I'm not afraid of you. The art of commanding ghosts? Take this. Too slow. Too weak. I told her only to defend the spiritual impact for me, not to charge at him. She's no match for the masters in the main world. You've raised your ghost well, she withstood my attack impact. Spiritual attacks can't work on me, admit defeat, child thousand faces, you're no match for me. Admit defeat? This show has just started. He's tricky to handle. Devil shift. Rebound. Ha, huh, his punch was mild, why would he want to touch me and run? Thanks for the free defensive art, charming jade child. So it was for copying my guardian of rebound zen? If your knockoffs can work, why did you stop using finger of flowery swords? Finger of Flowery Swords is a pre-celestial art after all, but this is a post-celestial one. It's much easier for me to copy it. Imitation. Guardian of Rebound Zen. Rebound. You did make an identical one. I want his art. I'll seize him alive. Why is your defensive art even more power-consuming than pre-celestial arts? Such a defensive art can't be turned on all the time. Did I miss something? Seems like you've gone out for wool and came home shorn. Guardian of Rebound Zen is good only when it comes with the title National Spirit. Otherwise, a few strikes from a strong martial artist will drain your internal power. I can't keep this up, or Sky 3 and Sky May 5th get here. I'll make this quick with that move. What on earth is he casting? If it's an illusion, my flowery sword energy should go through it and still be under my control. But this is not the case. My energy disappeared. I must figure it out. Finger of Flowery Swords. Withering Strike. Withering Strike is too strong for my devil's shift to handle. It did hurt me. Now it's my chance. Xia Yan's internal power should have been drained after using Withering Strike. He'll use that amazing recovery skill for sure. I knew it'd work. There's no invincible art. What kinds of art is this? Why can't my faceless mantra copy it? You want to copy my finger of Nirvana? Forget it. You'd be the boss if you could copy an immortal art. I admit defeat. Charming Jade Child you are indeed powerful. I couldn't defeat him even with that move. I have to run away even if I have to risk losing my life. Sky 3 and Sky 5 could be here any second. Mantra of Hexatic Senses. Illusionary Body. See you. Nice try, you're going nowhere. Bloody Shift times 6. What, he could cast Bloody Shift multiple times at once. Sky 5 was right. It's hard to kill him. Six clones casting Bloody Shift at the same time? How and which one should I go after? I know which one to follow, Master Sia. I left a mark on him when he hit me, and only the leftmost one has the mark. Well done, Chinger. Wait for me. All right, I should be safe now. I've lost at least three years of my lifespan, and my cultivation base may go back to the eighth level of the post-celestial stage, and I have to rest for at least half a year to recover. Finger of flowery swords, withering strike. It's too hard to catch you so don't blame me for sneaking up on you. He's dead? No, I wanted to capture him alive. Why did you die so fast, bro? Why must I cast the withering strike? Bad hand. Your hand is getting red, master. Forget it, he's dead anyway. I guess I'm just destined to miss the art. What's that, a piece of skin? Why would it survive when the bones and flesh didn't? It looks like it's made of human skin, but it can't be. The withering strike would destroy it if it was. The Huayu stuck this to his skin and made it look like a part of his skin. It should be important enough for him to keep it with him all the time. Could it be the faceless mantra? I think it's stupid to carry your exclusive with you all the time, though. A book named Instructions of Disguise. Another book named Character Record. And three human skin masks. No faceless mantra or any arts from the Shima sect? Instructions of Disguise should be a book teaching people how to disguise. I was right. It's a mixed study of teaching people how to shrink bones, imitate others' manners and expressions fast, and change voices and smells. But it's not as amazing as I thought it would be. 
One needs human skin masks to disguise as others. Shame that I didn't find the method of making human skin masks. I think child thousand faces didn't write it down. You read so fast, master. I haven't seen anything yet. So what's this character record about? Monk Excellence, number seven of the top ten talents of the Tang Empire, and one of the contemporary arhats in the Rose Finch Temple. In the eighteenth year of the Xiongwu era, I captured him alive in Xi'an town, I interrogated him for a month or so and then I killed and replaced him. Monk Excellence's birth name was Jin Wuk, and he was actually a spy from the Huanxi sect, the largest devil sect of the Han Empire. He mastered both Buddhistic and evil martial arts and his personality was. Is this Ge Huayu's diary, Master Xia Yen? No, no one keeps a diary now. This is a character record of Child Thousand Faces. I guess he had too many identities to remember so he kept this to avoid forgetting any features of his disguises. It's less than I thought. There are only three characters in it. They are powerful, though. A scholar, a monk, and a woman? A stunningly beautiful woman? With an extra thick bra on, I guess. You read too fast, master. Do these three human skin masks match with the identities? I can't see anything different. I'll put them on when I'm free. Wait, is this his true face or not? I'm really curious. Let's take a look. I knew it. His overt face isn't his true look. Look, Master Xia Yen. This is his true face. So ugly. No wonder he wanted your beautiful face. I think he had gone twisted because his face was ruined. I have an idea. I've got the human skin masks already. And if I can comprehend instructions of disguise, I can be a fake child thousand faces. Even if getting faceless mantra is off the table. If I replace child thousand faces, I can try to get some arts from the Shima sect. But it'll be risky because he had a powerful background. I must be exposed and get hit. Call the ghost to help us clean the scene. Chinger, we'll hide his death for as long as possible. Sure. Finger of flowery swords. Withering strike. It was very hard to kill such a changeable man. Even if I tell people that I killed him, no one would believe me without seeing his body. I need to think of a thorough plan to replace him. Fifteen minutes later. Sky 3 and Sky 5 are here. Return to me, Chinger. Xidagarba, are you okay? The one we were chasing was a fake. Looks like you caught the real one. Did Gahuayu run away? Or maybe I killed him. So did you kill Gahuayu? No, he ran away. Gahuayu has too many enemies. If he could die that easily, he'd been dead a long time ago. Gahuayu is tricky to handle. We went for a few rounds, and I hit his head, then he ran away. I find him interesting, so leave him to me only. Are you sure about this? Gahuayu is devious. Yes, I'm sure. It's hard to meet someone who interests me, and there would be no fun if you meddle with it. What is Gahuayu to you, Sky 5? Are you friends or not? Well, kind of. I came from the Shima sect, and I was his father, Gahuayu's disciple. That's all. I only know him as Gahuayu, not any of the rest. You came from the Shima sect? Is that even reasonable? Why hasn't the Shima sect killed him? Perhaps you're too close to Elder Joy to know his reputation in the world. With his protection, Gui dared not to mess with the Bloodthirst sect. He had to let me go. Besides, I'd removed all the Xinma sect skills before joining the Bloodthirst sect. As long as I don't boast about it, the leader of the Xinma sect doesn't want to make a fuss for it either. Good. I didn't know Sky 5 had such a story. Now I have a better chance to disguise as Child Thousand Faces safely. I need every detail about Child Thousand Faces and the Xinma sect. Tell me everything you know, Sky 5. I want to know everything, including his date of birth, family relations. Everything. Why do you need to know all that for killing him? What are you? Do what I tell you to do. All right, but it's gonna take a while. Take your time, we've got a whole night. One day later. Xidigarba surely knows how to torment people. No wonder Sky 3 came to Datong City just to avoid him. Ha, huh, this feeling, could it be? It's you? Finally, I've been waiting for you for a long time. I just turned against you, Why you? You have some nerves to come to me. I've run away from you once, and I can surely do that again. Besides, it's not the first time someone asked you to kill me. Tell me what Xia Yen offered you. Sorry, Why you? It's special this time. You can't give me what he offered. Knock it off, Sky 5. I know Xia Yen told you to stay out of this. He wants to come after me alone. I knew you could know anything. You know how capable I am. I can't defeat Xia Yan by confronting him, but I will find a chance to kill him sooner or later. I remember he knows Elder Joy well, and I want to discuss something with you. 
You must feel awful to have a supervisor who came from nowhere suddenly. I'll keep him alive and make him focus on me at all times. That way, you'll play your role as a commander here as always. How about that? Then, as you wish. Talk soon, Sky 5. He should be Gahuayu, but I feel something is off, could it be? Whatever, there's no gain for me in this. I should stay out of it. Fooling Sky 5 is just the beginning. Looks like instructions of disguise and masks are useful. There's no replacement if I can't even fool Sky 5 as Child Thousand Faces. Nice acting, Master. Sky 5 didn't notice anything wrong. A bloodthirst commander wouldn't be a simple-minded man. Sky 5 might have suspected something, but he had nothing to prove it. Where are we rushing to, Master? The Bliss Temple. The Bliss Temple, Lu Qingmei's base. Why are we going there? I told you fooling Sky 5 was just the beginning. Lu Qingmei is the key, and I can help that stupid by Su Yuan deal with her. If my disguise can even fool Lu Qingmei as well, I can start planning about going to the Shima sect. But it's too soon to talk about that now. I'm coming, Bliss Temple. That night. I heard Elder Bat would leave our sect. I wonder if it's true. Outer disciples like us don't get to gossip over the member changes among the elders. Let's focus on patrolling. I'd like Elder Bai to become the new leader. We don't know Elder Lu, after all. Do you have a death wish? It's okay to tell us in private, but don't ever tell others what you just said. Our situation is even harder than the time that our former leader died. Elder Lu is a little stronger than Elder Bai, and she has the Xinma sect to back her up. I think the new leader position is settled. The Shima sect is famous for manipulating others' minds. They're notorious even among the devil sects. No one wants to mess with them. Elder Lu told us that the Shima sect would be our support. But who knows what they really think of us. Compared to the Shima sect, I'd rather get controlled by the Maching sect. At least that way. I don't have to worry about when I'll be turned into a puppet. What just flew by? A bird? Fortunately, Bai Suyuan isn't doing this for a spur of the moment. Most disciples at the Bliss Temple prefer her to be the leader. Otherwise, Master Xia would be helping her for nothing. I've learned the terrain, layout, and a lot of gossips as well. I'll stretch a little and return to Master. What's that sound? Is someone doing that thing out there? Master said that Bliss Temple's willfulness about love is one of the tops. Even among devil sects, this is a great place for me to learn. I have to observe them. So many people. Awesome. Ouch. Huh, was it just me? Or someone was peeping. But I hit nothing. Am I too anxious lately? Is that why I'm overly alert? Elder Gao, the night is too precious to waste any second. Ha, you little naughty boys taste my goodies. Chinger? I only peeped once. Why did she hit me? What did you see to get yourself beaten like this? I saw them, and that and they changed many positions. Then she hit me, and I was wiped off. Is that why you were gone for so long? No, no. I watched them only after my job is done. I've done everything you asked me to do perfectly. You don't have to learn that. Chinger, just leave things as they are. All right, back to business. Tell me everything you've learned at the Bliss Temple. Ha, Bliss Temple. Greetings, child Huayu. Huayu's back. You made me wait for a long time. Why didn't you bring me a gift? I forgot about it. I'm sorry. Why are you acting so strangely, Huayu? Oh, why did you say that? Am I exposed? I don't know what Huayu is like when facing Lu Qingmei. I'll take my chances and hit the road with rainbow shift if anything goes wrong. Your smile is not going to cut it, bad boy. I told you to capture Xie Yen alive and take him here for me. Xie Yen was cunning and tricky to handle, and the bloodthirst sect wasn't much of a help. I had to deal with him personally and killed him after a long struggle. The situation was impossible for me to capture him alive. Where's the jade pendant that I gave you? Why isn't it on you? Xie Yen broke it, sorry. Jade pendant? My withering strike should have broken it. I'm just telling kind of the truth. Did Xie Yen hurt you, my boy? Come closer and let me have a closer look. Huh, are they that close? Maybe even Xie Yen envies your handsomeness. Let me rub your face for you. Huai you. You. I just want to. Lu Qing Mei and Ge Huai Yu are aunts and nephews. It's difficult for me to imitate him in front of her. I'll try for the last time and hit the road if it fails. Surprise you. I killed Xie Yen and copied all his skills with Faceless Mantra. Now Charming Jade Child is one of my collections. Amazing, what a charming young man he is. I feel like I'm in love again by just looking at him. How fickle, aren't you worried that I may tell my father about this? What's wrong with you today, Huayu? Did I say something wrong this time? Please don't make fun of me. Why? 
Can't a son make a joke about his dad and his mistress? She's in heat looking at another man. Whatever, I have to find a way to muddle through. I have to be identical to Xie Yan when using his face. Is his face you like, not his personality? I see. I heard Xie Yan was a cultivation vessel before. Of course he'd get jealous easily. You know me too well, Huai Yu. I can't live without you. I'm like your dad. He's no fun. You're so much stronger than him in every way. Really? Is this what I think it is? Seriously? Of course. I can't wait to thank you for your surprise. How generous you are. It's fun looking at you with Xie Yan's face on. I want to taste you thoroughly. I've gone through too much to kill Xie Yan. I should take a shower and get changed to freshen up first. Fine. Make it quick, Huai Yu, or I'll help you bathe myself. Ji Huai Yu's room, the Bliss Temple. Holy crap. Lu Qi Mei is having an affair with both Ge Huai Yu and his father? Seriously? I don't know Ge Huai Yu's habits. It'll get me exposed easily if I do it with Lu Qi Mei. Besides, Lu Qing Mei and Dang Hongqin were peers. How old is she now? Sixty? Seventy? But she's taken great care of herself. She looked like a fine cougar. So it seems like I'm not sacrificing anything here. No, no. It's still too much for me. But Lu Qing Mei hasn't suspected me yet. All my efforts will go in vain if I give up now. Whatever. I'll go to a small world to calm down first, and then think about how to deal with that old woman. Random world search complete. Bisovered, War God World, 200 origin points required to transmigrate. War God World? Sounds fancy. But why does it only require 200 origin points? Forget it. I'll find out after entering. Let's go. <laughs>